Oh yeah. yeah. I've heard I've heard good things about it. I'm like trying to think speaking of like Atlas, I guess, to see if I even have like the time to like actually sit down and play um and finish uh Persona six if that ever like gets announced um soonish. If they do. Cause th this man, like I don't know how I did it, but man, I man we we all we all like uh sat down and fucking played um five and then i think we all finished like around yeah. re relative around the same time that's that's like so funny yeah i think um kate finished first mm -hmm. then it was seth i uh, i don't know the exact i don't remember the exact order yeah but i know i was like second to the last because mm. you know work and school at the time oh that's right you're still in school yeah i think i was still in school fuck <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's been that long but, but it was a really good game and yeah i like the first time it's weird and i'm going back into it since, mm -hmm. uh because I wanted to do like hard mode and try platinum it, and I was like, "Yeah, no, I'm done." Dude, like I don't know what it was. Like um, I tried to play Royal, and then I just could not get through the first part, dude. I just could not do it. I think it was just me, like trying to be like, "Yeah, I just want to get to the new stuff or something," and it was just like, "Ugh." For some reason, doing it the okay. second time is just give me all this uh, tutorial. Yeah, like, give me all this tutorial. Yeah, doing it the second time for some odd reason is just so unbearable. I don't know what it is, but I, it's just that's what happened. Um, but anywho, we'll talk about I we'll talk about uh, Persona Six whenever that f fucking shit comes out, I guess, or, or gets announced. Maybe it might it might get announced at uh what do you call um the GAs right the Game Awards I don't know you never know. Uh, I'll tell you straight up that damn game's gonna come out before fucking Kingdom Hearts Four. <laughs> <laughs> no, it will. No, it, it will. No, I know it will. I know it will. That game, that game is just it's a it's, it's... <laughs> those games. Like, are, I ugh. am I am sorry but not sorry. Uh, fucking Namora, you. You you fucking you you carried I mean not carried you you took up two two big projects and you kind of couldn't balance it yeah yeah juggle, juggle well <laughs> again, you you could up you could tell which so which game which game had more love than the other right right not saying that uh remake rebirth and stuff had more love than you know kingdom hearts 3 but you know like, it's, it's... <laughs> well as you uh it's like, you... oh i'm sorry was that too deep <laughs> yeah <laughs> well in case you couldn't tell already we're back for november um after a little little break for 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 uh um last week and then uh we're just that much closer to um, 300, right? We're just two episodes away. Uh, just a little bit of a hint. Uh, we we're going through a we're gonna go through a sort of an experiment, kind of like a change, experimental change, and see how that works out. Uh, once we hit um, January of next year, pretty much, or uh, pretty pretty much uh, after three uh, episode 300, because yeah, you know. Um, you know, just, you know, just sometimes it's kind of good to like do, change it up a little bit just to kind of like, you know, make things a little interesting or re you know, for, go through some sort of refresh. Cause just like anything, if you want, if you're going to, if you're doing something over and over and over again, yeah, that's, it won't be fun. That's why like a lot of people on YouTube take breaks or they do something different or, you know, yep. So 
Uh, it's a little heads up, but uh, we won't we won't uh, we won't need to talk about it till we get to that uh, bridge to cross. But nonetheless, we have stuff to talk about for two ninety eight with yours truly, as always, Sean, aka Hawk five two five, with my cohort Zala in the building, as always. Uh, that is virtual, virtual building. Yes. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm in the building. Yeah, what? yeah, right. <laughs> and of course, you're. You know what's that's that that background for you looks uh, actually works really well for when you're like positioned <laughs> because it's uh, Venom, of course, with the the symbiote head thing that he does. Um, I believe I believe mine is the uh, the artwork for 1.3 of Zenless Zone, which we will we will talk about later. Of course, naturally, um, uh, which I'm called. You know what two weeks have gone by so we do have quite a bit to talk about so i'll try to like uh, have us cram through some of the things but there are some things we do want to you know blabber on or chat chatter on about you know but anywho without further ado uh let's go through the fighting game stuff so let's go ahead and i was gonna i'm just gonna do it from here today hop in yeah. hop in the court. this battle is about to explode Sorry, what were you saying? I said, pop in those quarters, kids. Pop in those quarters, yep. Hey, that's right, that's right. Um, I believe she is out at this point because it has it, it has been uh She's out. Yes, she is out, which is a uh, Queen Queen Dizzy. I was gonna say Queen Mary, <laughs> but <laughs> I stopped myself, I corrected myself before. Yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead. Let's go straight to it. Uh-oh. Something's a little, little... A little wonky, but I think we're fine. There we go. Yeah, no, so he looks really good in animation. In the animation department. He looks in animation, and but I am sorry. I do not like how Necro... And oh, the so angel, the, the, the guardians cute. or whatever. Yeah. Ooh, something's going on with the... Yeah, they they look too plain. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the the coloring and stuff. Um, let me let me try to refresh it again. I don't know what's going on here. Sorry, everyone. Um, I'm using Hawk's uh, internet to upload my um, OnlyFans account. <laughs> <laughs> Song though, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So try pause right here. Right there. Like go back to the. Okay. Wait, which one? I'm sorry. Every time I see that, the season four, like right here, this um character, I guess um screen. Yes. Every time I see that season four DLC, it reminds me of. Ninja droids, because that's how they advertise their oh, ninja droids. Yeah. It will be the character where they're from, and it will be like um, where season four will be the um the logo for mm -hmm. ninja droids. So I'm like, why does this look like you're selling a product mm -hmm. from ninja droid right now? Mm -hmm. But again, I just don't like necro and stuff. Undine, like yeah, that's Undine, design. right? Yeah, they're, they don't look. Yeah, yeah, they don't look different, right? They, they they look very uh, like homogenous. Exerts. If you look at um, exerts, <laughs> you, you can tell. Oh, this one is a necro, and this one is a yeah. Because, you know, there are different color schemes. Yeah, I here it yeah. looks like yeah, we're just wearing wearing a, a white sheet over him. Like, yeah. oh, <laughs> it's it's literally black and white. Yeah, I think that, you know, other than the halo or whatever you call it. Um yeah, it's just black and white. It may it, there may be some lore reasons behind it, but yeah. Visually it's just very plain or homogenous, unfortunately. Let's play the rest of the video. I'll do that to my boyfriend when we are when he's when he wants to hold my hand, I'll be the necro. I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, give me your hand. Yeah. 
My God. So they call it the Queen of Compassion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so does that mean um, Sin never got punished for anything when he was growing up? I guess not. I'm, I don't know, man. Did maybe just, like, let's, maybe let's she be. He did. No, he did. He did. What? What? No, I was like, maybe, like, let's say Sin broke something. Like, did 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 he just go like, oh, it's okay, son, it's okay. But the moment she turns, fucking Necro just comes no, out. No, no, yeah, she, no, she, him. yeah, <laughs> she's the queen of uh, compassion, or whatever. But um, Necro isn't. So <laughs> he's like, I didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm, Necro I'm not will be like you. looking at Undi. <laughs> no, Necro will be like looking at Undi. Distract her. Mm -hmm. Just distract her. <laughs> oh, okay. My queen smoke. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know. He fell. Yeah. Some <laughs> some bit of some bit of a uh, gaslighting going on there. I'm sure. <laughs> And you eat. She still likes squirrels, I mean, that's for yeah, sure. She looks... She's very... Like, her motion in... In gameplay is really good. Mm -hmm. Also, I just like that. Okay, she's like... I need help. Okay, Undine is like... I will lend you my power. <laughs> Necro. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Yep. <laughs> I will give you a portion of it. A portion. <laughs> Wait, just watch. I'll help you. <laughs> a portion. <laughs> yep. That's, yeah, like, that look is at a... her face. She's like, really? That's, that's all? That's all you're going to do? Like, just look at it when <laughs> Necro just touches it. She's like, R really? She gave like that face like... Seriously, <laughs> yeah. she's like, you, you're not gonna go full on like, like father son come out, man. Imagine Goku just. <laughs> just... <laughs> uh, it's funny actually. Do it now, go on. Do it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Which again, okay, this is another this is another good um shot of of them. That's the same like like advertisement a ninja droid would have, like <laughs> pre ordered. It now. does <laughs> look like something like like you, you, like it looks like they're they're advertising a figure. You know, with the with the, the way they laid this out. It does look like that. Maybe yeah. maybe they like they took notes from like Nendoroids or something. <laughs> You're like, all right, let's let's do the same color and I know it's like can we copy? It's like, can I, can I, can I see your homework? Yeah, just don't copy it. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> oh man. And then um, let's not forget about the DLC <laughs> characters. Uh, you get to actually see what they look like Venom up close. Finally yeah, Venom. Yeah. Speaking of Venom, right? And then uh, Unica. I think I believe that's from the sh uh, the upcoming look, show. Look, it's your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, and then of course we have Lucy, the lovely Lucy from Cyberpunk Edge Runners, uh, as a guest character later on in like summer, I, I believe summer of uh, twenty five. So that's like way, way, ways away. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. <laughs> I was gonna ask you. I can read that kanji <laughs> translate for you. Yeah, that's like it's it, either way. It's way, ways away. I uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not um, diverse in uh, cyberpunk uh, stuff. What does Lucy do? She like, is a hacker, essentially. She is like, uh, uh, she. I think I, I believe she's called a net runner. She's, she's, yeah, she's basically a, 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 a hacker. They're, they're called, mm, a hacker. They're called proxies. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, proxies for proxies. She's a. Uh, um, She's wise, uh, or I'm sorry, not wise. Oh, we're not supposed to reveal his name. <laughs> yes, yeah, Phyton. I think uh, I think that's, that's yeah, supposed to be she's called. Uh, yeah, Phyton's uh, rival. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Basically. Uh. But 
Does mm. she use any weapons? She has um the whip. The the, the it's, it's kind of like um, oh, what's that movie with Keanu Reeves? It was like it was like an old movie with Keanu Reeves. It, it was the uh, it's basically those like like it's kind of like think of it like those piano piano wires, right? But they have like like a shine to them or whatever, and then they like, they like cut the shit out of like people or whatever into pieces. So she can she can basically like um she's like Doflamingo kind of with the with the strings except she doesn't uh I I think she doesn't control people but yeah um she can cut up whatever with the wires so she has that going see that's why I'm like I'm like uh, oh, man what what no, when you she's like the, was like oh dear is she gonna give the laugh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> which one the old one or the newer one because <laughs> he had he had a um a different all laugh of it. yeah all of it yeah i, I kind of wish they kept the old one because it was such a it's it's a little it was a little more unique even amongst one piece laughs but anyway back on the track here that's why i'm like always like thinking that david was the better choice because he has so much more going for mechanics right especially when um there's a there's that whole thing with going uh, cyber psycho and such so i wish there was like a gauge with um him going cyber psycho or something that would have been really cool but lucy is a little more a little more plain jane like i hate to say it like that but a little more like that unless they do something really interesting with her hacking but other than that like um not not really much else except for the the whips and such. But I guess if you want, you know, if anyone else wants to see what she does, uh, I can look it up real quick here. And yeah, I don't, and I don't know if they ever made it explicit in the show, but yeah, she's half Japanese and half Polish. Just for anyone who, you know, if anyone cares about that stuff. Um, which is kind of, kind of like, okay, it makes sense because, um, cyber, in cyberpunk, Japanese people kind of like play some sort of significant role-ish a little bit in a way. There's a lot of Japanese people in, um, Night City. That's the main, you know, city. Um, because of... Arasaka, which is like that big evil corporation thing, you know. Think of it, think of it like um like Vision in uh, Zenless. It's that you know that's also a big evil corporation thing. Same in here. So yeah. Um, let me see stats and equipment. Yeah, mono wires. That's what they're called. Um, that's the that's the wires that like cut up people and such. Yeah. Um, I mean, technically, like everybody can hack because because they well as long as you have the 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 what the cyberwares, but you know it's it's just a matter of what you specialize in, I guess. But yeah, because she can do like a, net, a a deep net dive, which basically is of yes, um, hacking and such. So that's why she's kind of like the more special, yeah, net runner, yeah. Um. So yep, that is that. For now, Queen Dizzy. But yeah, I mean, the design on herself is fine. I think it looks cool and whatever. Her being a queen, all that stuff. But yeah, like you were saying, mm -hmm. the guard, her guardian spirits or whatever, did not get uh, that same same level of makeover, in my opinion. It maybe have it may have to do with lore, but I am. Um, Otherwise, I'm not too sure of why they went with this sort of design. Because I myself don't like it either. I thought it was kind of plain. Uh, 
And um, holy shit, that's a, <laughs> that's a really good shot. Anyway, so... Um, <laughs> in the finger. What's with the finger? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Look at Necro. He's like, I don't want to touch a finger. <laughs> yeah. Yep. He's like, I'm doing the most minimalist <laughs> fucking like touching ever. Mm hmm. He's like, Yeah, look at look at Undine. She's right? She's like, mm -hmm. Yes, my queen. Mm hmm. He's like, yes, my queen, let's go. And that girl's like, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> exactly. Which I guess fits for someone named. Like, he Necro. looks so happy. He's like, he's like, he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> hey, look, look, look. He's like smiling. And then once he touched Dizzy, yeah. <laughs> he's, like, oh. he's like, oh, I got to touch you. Oh. He's like, all his happiness went away. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's kind of kind of weird. Even this is like, oh, you touched my hand. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good first step. <laughs> first step. <laughs> oh man. First step of everything. It's mm -hmm. Like I don't want it anymore. Yep. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I'm really not sure why they went with the black and white thing. Yeah. Look at her, she's like, uh, Undine's smiling the whole time, and then Necro's just like, eh. <laughs> eh. <laughs> oh, I... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say it out loud, I'm just gonna type it to you. Because I don't want us to get on. Okay, okay. So. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure she has some sort of mechanic going on other than, yes, she does stuff, you know, with her guardians and such. But other than that, yeah, she looks good. Her there you go. Yeah. Okay, let me see. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why he's like, he's like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to think about that. They, 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 they called her the Queen of Compassion. They didn't say Queen of Purity. No. Oh. Holy crap, her eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. There are... Apparently, it's a... Um, they kind of went the extra mile. You know, like, sometimes, like, in anime or movies, like, they show the irises, like, either shining or, like... um. Um, expanding and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, it happens in this in this super. So they kind of went the extra. Oh level. yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh my god, they like dilate and like move and yeah. Yeah, you can see like the little lines too in the iris and all that stuff. So yeah, all the detail and such. Oops. In her brain, right ah. now, at this moment, she's like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking kill this, <laughs> kill this bitch." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Your ass is grass. Get the Your fuck out of my grass. house. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But but all he does is boop, <laughs> little finger. I mean that 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 was enough to you know um make her go a little crazy I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh no, no no see now now he does the thing he does a ha, like like a more like a. Kamehameha. See? <laughs> nah, it, it should have just been like, eh. No, like, uh, he should be like unex... He should, yeah. Unenthused. Unenthused, yeah. <laughs> it should have been just like, the, the, he just got, uh, <laughs> and then when she looks at him, oh, oh ah. <laughs> He's just like, oh, yes, I gotta look serious. Ah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. No, I thought I thought Undine's hand is like normal, but she also has like a same hand as um, Necro. That's it. That's interesting.
This he looks like, you know, like in the middle. Like she just asked, like, what do you guys want to eat? I want to eat here. I don't want to fucking eat in there. <laughs> <laughs> I want McDonald's. <laughs> Let's go to Mickey D's. I don't want to eat McDonald's. We had it for the last. <laughs> we already ate McDonald's for the last five fucking days. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> It's like, how is your intestines? Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, man. I mean, again, when we were like, what, back in the 90s and stuff, eating McDonald's was just like, yeah, I'm I'm good. <laughs> it's It was a this pastime. And now it's like, yeah, you're just you're just kind of just there because you're miserable. <laughs> but speaking of miserable, man, like, did you hear all, all that stuff? Are you miserable or, or like? About McDonald's shit? Yeah, the the, the quarter pounder stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's like what that's like what I always get too. Like, like yeah, that's that's like what I most more likely to get at McDonald's. But the good thing I haven't gone to McDonald's. It was also funny, it's like how convenient that that whole shit happened after a certain person did that um you know campaign thing at a mcdonald's how convenient right? oh <laughs> yeah uh, how convenient yes he, he he uh you know he contaminated the what was it the what's what's uh, the onions or yeah they say it's not the beef apparently so i don't know they say it, they blame it on the onions for right now but i'm not sure because the farmer, the farmers were like, uh, I think our onions, are, onions are good or whatever, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, they liar. Yeah, they're like pointing fingers at each other. It's like, yeah, it's, it's the onions. No, it's the fucking beef or I don't know, man. But one person died. So that's, that's not good. And like all those, like, what was it? Like four states, like, uh, took off the, um, quarter pounder off the menu for right now. It's like, damn, shit, man. I'm not blaming him for it, but shit. It's like the fact that it's actually happening. But anyways, enough about E. coli and all that all that horrible stuff. Um, Kim Dong Hwan. Um, oh, Hwan. Hwan. Um, has made an appearance for Fatal Fury. Um, City of the Wolves. And uh, I'm not... This is a character I am not very familiar with so let's go ahead and fire it up the trailer for it i believe this is in english you can be my warm-up come on let's go oops i don't want to keep going i'm back sorry to the first few lines that you go ahead the, the first few lines uh the way that you sounded, I was like, wow, you sound kind of like, you know, stereotypical. Oh my <laughs> god, never mind. I had hope. <laughs> you can be my warm-up. Come on, let's go! Okay. Break in your missus. Hmm. I'm sorry. That was kind of like a weird cut, like that. that they, they, brief, they've like no, no yeah. music, no sound. Was they've been they've been doing that for like all their videos, and I'm 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 like, I'm not sure about why they do that with the the weird like just random fade to black and then just super like the, 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 you know, and then they break out the song. Like well, I don't know why they just can't go straight into the thing. Like I'm, I'm not sure about that fade fade to uh black right before. Um, 
Let's go ahead and play in Japanese. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Hey, in Naikongo. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's going on, YouTube? Jeez. Let me see. Let me just lower it down to like. YouTube is dying. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, that fade of black is so weird. <laughs> Shitty of the wolves. Shitty of the wolves. <laughs> yeah. Shitty of the wolves. Uh, it, it can't be helped. It cannot be helped. That's that's just how Japanese goes. Just like the word earth in Japanese. Power of the ass. <laughs> Power of the ass. <laughs> <It's Rara. laughs> thank you. Thank you, G, for that. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. But anyway, uh, not much to say. I think he. I mean, I obviously he's quite Taekwondo, so he does move like Kim from King of King of Fighters. But he does a lot of stomping. He's got lightning going on, so that's really all I can say. Really, I mean. Yeah, got the lightning going. But uh, the only thing noticeably different is him stomping a lot more. I know Kim has a stomp uh, as well. At least in the older games anyway. I'm not, I'm not sure about the newer ones. But um, at least with uh, Juan here, he uh, definitely does a lot of stomping for sure. Uh, you have anything uh, to say for Kim or for uh, for Juan? He 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 watched a lot of Stomp the Yard. Stomp the Yard, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, I mean, like design wise, he's okay. I yeah, guess. it's very straightforward. Not much to really say. It's, it's safe. Yeah, safe. Yeah, it's a pretty safe design. I don't hate I, it, but yeah, I mean. Yeah, I don't hate it. Yeah. Just kind of very, uh. You, yeah. Yeah. He, he, he's, yeah, he's, he's safe. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. That's what it is. Oh, okay. So he's an older. Yeah, he's a veteran for sure. And, um. Oh, okay. 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 See, I recognize the sprite more than. His uh 3D then the name yeah yeah see like this the, all this stuff was, was is um new to me but as soon as I saw his uh sprite that's where it, it like the light bulb went off kind of that I do remember for sure but yeah the redesign is I say it's okay. The jacket over the waist, or the yeah, for for uh, over the waist thing is, um, all right, I guess. Adds a little more contrast for the sake of the game. Yeah, helps helps him set apart. You know when he's moving and all that stuff. Yeah. 
but yeah, I mean, you know, maybe maybe playing him will be the the you know a completely different story. Just from but just from uh, judging from like visual appearances, uh, not much to say. And if I'm going to be honest, I would prefer to see his um, classic costume because I like the I like the black with the red stripes or the the red um, edges and stuff like that versus, you know, this like bold red shirt and then the black trim or whatever. No, he has his pants is uh, following that old colors scheme, but he's wearing a different uh, tank top and. He's got the uh, the yellow and blue jacket around the waist. Um, let's see what the lore says for SNK Wiki. Oh, they're right here. His brother. Oh, he's one of the children of Cam Cup One. Oh, okay. So that's his son. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, okay. So that's okay, that's cool. See, th yeah, this is this is the character I definitely know for sure. And that's his son, okay. And Kim Jae uh Jae Hoon. Okay. Maybe he'll come in for like DLC or something later on. Yeah, I'll just be mentioned by name. Mentioned my name, yeah, maybe. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, other than that, I think... Yeah, he was playable Mark of the Wolves. And, yeah, even, like, the Lori, there's not really much to say. Story... Yeah. Um, Don Juan is a very cocky and somewhat of a slacker. Yeah, you know, it's kind of a pretty straightforward trope. And Jai Hoon, his brother, is the more serious practitioner. Yeah. Don Juan is the yeah, the goof the, the goofball. And hmm. Okay. Yeah. Not much not, not much to go off of other than he is the son of Kim Cap One, along with uh uh Jai or Jay. So that is pretty much that. The game is still coming along. Uh, I uh, I don't know if how many more characters they have left to reveal because I haven't been like keeping count or anything. So, because I know they're gonna have like at least or, or around twenty four ish, right? Because of um what they're doing with the DLC and stuff, they're it's like already included with the sixty dollar price tag of yeah. um the game so it, it kind of feels like yeah it's going to be a 24 character roster but i believe it's actually going to be 18 or something i i think i think it's something like that i i, I forget but anyway um by the way um that game is still coming along so yeah this one is uh pretty funny from jay wong because um Another new character was coming was um out, and in the form of um, let me see, yeah, Bacala, who is the um, essentially uh, one of the twelve zodiac sort of generals, in Grand Blue. Uh, she is out in Grand Blue versus and um. Really funny because um her grab animation 
is the um, you know the Justin Wong the thumbs well it's not really Justin Wong's thing but it's, it's um because originally it was from Daigo because um I believe because Daigo did the thumbs up and then the what was it the Chun Li cosplayer did the um the the, the half the heart right but 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 Jay Wong popularized it that's what happened I think but anyway in any case her grab animation is that referencing. So yeah, see, <laughs> you can see the the pose, right? So like each character that she grabs do a, do a different pose, but it's not um, the the other half of the heart is the whole point. And then your music's lit though. I know. Yeah. yeah. I'll translate uh, it to DDR and let's go. Mm hmm. And watch me freaking mess up my foot and fall over. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then, of course, that's the that's what they're referencing from. But Justin is referencing from Daigo, I believe. So uh, I thought there was like a compilation or like a big collage of all the characters doing it or they're with their unique poses. Um. <laughs> Yeah, emotional damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe he maybe Fighting Games Daily has it. Um No, that's more of a call. Um Oh yeah, this they also had this guy revealed as well from Hunter Hunter. He's like a volleyball dude. Um let me see. It wasn't that one. Hmm. Wait, right, I can't find it. All right. What I was trying to get at is that um, Jay Wong's quote tweet for that, of course, is "Ain't no way I'm so sad because you know he can't he can't escape he can't escape it." Cause he's got the the parry thing going right, the the meme of the parries right, uh, from Evo, moment thirty seven, and then uh, now the the pose right, the this pose, you know, and then the the thumbs up. It's so funny of how much, of Justin's Wong, Justin Wong's memes is like actually like showing up in Japanese culture, at least in Japanese FGC culture. I think it's really funny. And um, on top of all that, right, um, Iron Mouse, a uh, VTuber, um, voices one of the, the, the mouses, or mice, I, sh I should say, that Vakala has Mises. around her. The Mises. Yeah, the Mises, yeah. There was a bit of a, there was a, bit of a um, little mix-up because people thought um, Iron Mouse was voicing Vakala herself, but no, she uh, Iron Mouse is voicing one of the, the the mice, or one of the mouses at least, and then uh, Vakala is being voiced by somebody else, at least in the English side of things, anyway. So yeah, um, I thought that was pretty funny though that that they uh, actually went far as doing this. With Recala of, of all of all characters, but I guess it makes sense because you know she's an idol, so she takes pictures with people and such. But it's also funny that um, she's like one of the twelve generals. So it's like, yeah, it's funny how that works. And then uh. And it's funny, you know, right next to her is also one of the 12 generals. She represents the ram or sheep. If you if you know your uh the Chinese zodiacs, right? Or Japanese. Interchangeable, but yeah. Uh any comment on the Vikala stuff? Justin Wong or I'm surprised Justin Wong hasn't um would it count as royalties at this point when people just 
you know like, he uh, uh, right, uh, he hasn't uh, what do you call called a pen or trademark or anything like that so no yeah no i'm just i i am that's what i assume it's just kind of one of those things right it's like yeah you just because you popularize it doesn't mean yeah you know like um you own the pose or whatever right you know it's like almost like um what's another thing that's kind of like this well i mean well mm -hmm. I mean, what 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 would be a equivalent, right? Because when it comes to like popular celebrities and stuff like that, I mean, it's like, well, I guess, I guess, imagine like a wrestler, right? With wrestlers with their poses and such, you know, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin with the two middle fingers and stuff like that. I mean, you know, it's like, yeah, that's what he does and such. But whenever it, it it's it's like a it's like what people do also like with their middle fingers at times when they when they, when people take pictures to be all like edgy or whatever the fuck right you know that's like that's that's sort of the equivalent almost or or you know the rock you know the, the rocks you know eyebrow raise right whenever other people do it and take pictures of that like you don't see rock being like hey that's my pose or whatever you know it's like yeah that's just one of those things you don't you really just don't do but you can comment on it, certainly. But if you want to, like, go after them legally, it's like, uh, really? <laughs> First off, you're not going to win. Second, you're only going to lose because now the people are just be like, uh, uh, really? You're going to do that? That's lame. You know? It's kind of, kind of petty, pretty much. But, you know, hey, I, I mean, I get it. You popularize the pose or whatever, but that don't give you the, the legal rights to <laughs> ask for any, like, royalties or anything. Yep. <laughs> That's just kind of how it goes. Well, a quick one before we go on from fighting games, or uh, from fighting games. Um, the, whatchamacall, um, the games have been revealed for France, Evil France. And it is Street Fighter 6, uh Tekken 8, Guilty Gear Strive, and then of course in Fr this is you know this is France we're talking about so the you know Dragon Ball Fighters is the this is the game that the French people play, right? And then uh followed by Grand Blue Fantasy Versus Rising. And then uh, lastly, um Fatal Fury City of the Wolves is actually in the mix. So that's pretty cool. Um, any comments on this uh, particular lineup or anything, or for France, for France? Let's see the numbers. Yeah, right. The, the registration numbers will be interesting to see, right? Of how many actually go for this. And yeah, and uh, people are commenting like, where's MK? Where's MK? Where's MK? MK sucks, but yeah, MK nonetheless. MK deserves all the hate, jeez, right? Um, MK1. Okay, uh, go talk to WB. Oh, wait, don't talk to them because they don't, they don't even know what the f they're doing. <laughs> no more combat. Um, fuck no more. Fuck more combat, I guess. I wonder if, um, I mean, I know there's a scene in Europe, but I, I wonder if there's a scene particularly in France, right? I wonder how France feels about Mortal Kombat 1. Because I know Foxy Grandpa is like all about MK1. And he lives in what, UK or something? Or uh, England? I think he's English, but anyway. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, um... That is that. But, you know, it was funny, you know, the fighters, right? That's like the, the French game. But I'm also, I'll, I'll, I would also would love to see, you know, to, to see if they can add just one more game to make a seven and have Soul Calibur. Because I feel like Soul Calibur is such a, like, it's such a game that uh, French people play. 
along with uh, other European countries, but especially France. But, you know, Soul Calibur is unfortunately like, kind of, eh, you know, I don't want to say dead, but very, um, very inactive in comparison to um, all the other fighting games right now. It's uh, it it it's barely on life support. Yeah, like they haven't really done much with the game, and they didn't, definitely did not um, give it that pizzazz or the riz. I gu I guess you could say to yeah. um, launch as they launched the game, and also um, I think they kind of like, you know, especially with the mechanics and all that stuff did some degree of alienating the audience almost you know instead of trying to like please um you know everybody else but the actual soul caliber fans um and i think unfortunately that did not work in this case whereas you know tekken is kind of doing it but tekken is still you know very popular so um it's Definitely up there still. Strive is kind of hanging in there. And stuff like that. But in any case, uh, that is that. So, yeah. frontline coming up. So let's go ahead and hit this. Okay. So, let's go ahead and talk about this because I didn't know about this, right? It is regarding the McDonald's, uh, speaking of which, but more on the ice cream machine, right? And what what do you know about when you hear ice cream machine and McDonald's? What What is the first thing you think? It broke, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the meme, right? That's, the, the meme was always like, oh, the ice cream machine's always broken. But apparently, right, there's a reason for that. And apparently, um, Taylor Company, which is the actual company that makes the ice cream machines for McDonald's, I guess exclusively, only were the only ones who had the sole right to repair them and not McDonald's because, of, you know, it's their machine at the end of the day. And I didn't even know this, but there was also some sort of lawsuit somewhere back in the day. So that, and I guess maybe Taylor Company won. And so they had the sole right to handle their machines. And I guess they never did or bothered because I don't know why, but whatever. Yeah. Look at it now. Mm -hmm. But now, very recently, as of October 31st, the FTC granted an exception, meaning that the franchises can now fix the machines themselves so mcdonald's can actually now go ahead and get their hands on these machines and uh legally repair um their own machines um and this is from ign of course quoting from ign so yes it's like not <laughs> a lot of people are like <laughs> <laughs> yes looks like ice cream's back in the menu like boys. Menu boys. <laughs> yes <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I, I, I like the ice cream at McDonald's. I, I don't know about everyone else, but I, I like it. I like their soft serve. I've gone there a uh, hot fudge Sunday like many a times. Save the peanuts, please. But <laughs> now see with the hot fudge and stuff. Okay, you have the ice cream, right? Yes. Were you did you dive into um, eating the McFlurries when it was, you know, back in its... Um, oh, back in the heyday? Day. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I always got the M&M ones. I think those were my favorite. I, I try liking... At, mm. at my McDonald's, mm -hmm. we had the Reese's Pieces and mm -hmm. the uh, Oreos. Oreos, yes. Yeah. I think Oreos was like the other standard topping or something. I never, like, for some reason with me... The Oreos weren't the same. It didn't click, right? It didn't click with kind of like how cookies and cream does, because I yeah. think yeah, because um, I think what it is is that the cookies and cream actually lets the the Oreo pieces like not not soak in, but like it actually like forms Absolutely. into the ice cream. Yeah. Whereas 
the McFlurry Oreo or the Oreo McFlurry. It's just the ice cream with the Oreo just plopped on top. And then they like mix yep. it with a spoon or whatever. The you know, with the that one that the unique looking spoon. So like it doesn't have that time to like set in. So that's why like it just kinda it's not the same. You know? Yeah, it's it's just there. It's just there. Have you ever seen that machine that does the McFlurry break? No, I have not not seen it break. <laughs> Alright, small story time. I have mm. so I guess that machine because it was back at the heyday when you know everyone fucking buying it. So the machine pretty much didn't had no risk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess when it was the customer before me, when they finally, you know, they attach the spoon and they get it ready to spin. We heard the most horrible grinding noise. Ooh. And and the whole thing kind of like twisted and it just oh. like broke. Shit. And we were like <laughs> and the manager of that McDonald's poor thing, her, she was like, um who was the one that ordered this McFlurry? <laughs> <laughs> and so the customer, you know, raising their hand, it was me. Um, as you can see, it's on the ground. Do you want the ice cream instead? And then the, the customer with no like hesitation, she's like, "Is your machine working?" <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, do, do you want anything else from the menu? You know, to compensate and. I guess the customer was just being funny, right? She's like, five Big Macs and three large fries. Okay. And I was like, <laughs> damn. I was like, bitch. It's like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, 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 I'm like, now like kind of plotting and praying at that time like I, okay one of you machines you break now break now <laughs> so, so i can be compensated yeah but it's okay it was like back in the day where 20 dollars bought you the entire menu so yeah back in the heyday right jesus man those ice cream machines were something else right <laughs> but no but now it makes sense right because i i guess they weren't legally allowed to um do it because I did um, because of that one lawsuit back way back in the day, which again I d I didn't even know about till very recently. So yeah, uh, I guess they, it was a little in the legal rights that Taylor Company was the only one who can touch the machine, but they never came in and touched the machine. Why is that? I, that I don't know, but um, but now Mac McDonald's can do it themselves and cool. Right. That is nice. So yeah, it was, a, it was just um very interesting. I thought this whole thing, like a lot of trivia, a lot of facts and stuff like that. Um, I didn't even know about. But yeah, I mean, McDonald's, man. If there's if there's one thing still I do like about them is the ice cream. But um, right now with the uh the midst of the you know the E. coli outbreak within the fast food stuff, I'm kind of wanting to stay away <laughs> just in case. You just never know, man. You just never know what what winds up or what happens, man. Man, do you do you remember the the outbreak that happened also with Chipotle? Do you have did you, do you remember that? No, because um, I guess when that happened, we didn't have Chipotle. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, um, that was a big one. That was, that was actually like really big. Um, a lot of people were a lot more people were affected apparently, and then like the lettuce was like um, uh, wasn't like properly like treated or whatever. So yeah, unfortunately, like the the bad water got into the the lettuce field or something so that contracted uh the bacteria right or whatever or the virus that um carry that <laughs> causes or the, the the um that is e coli right and so people contracted that that uh germ and then got sick right for those who get got affected um and yeah it was really bad and it was to the point where um Chipotle, like all the Chipotle 
places stopped at one point. Uh, had to look at the the TV screen, and uh, they got a broadcast of the meeting. Like everybody got into a meeting, like at the same time, apparently. So that was like really big, and they, um, <laughs> I guess have they, they've been trying to do their damnest to um not have that happen again because they haven't. It's, it has not happened ever since. That was a long time ago, but yeah, I I remember that was like a pretty big thing. But yeah, dude, imagine, right? The lettuce, right? You would think it would be like the something like the meat or something, but no, man. It's because um, um, the vegetables, you don't cook them. So they are deceptively uh, a little more risky, right? In that sense, because you don't cook them. Whereas meat is like, you that's what you cook, obviously. It's a little more obvious, right? You know, and then, but um, yeah, sometimes you don't cook it properly. It doesn't really cook all the way, and then if the, like you don't cook it properly, or you undercook it. Or undercook you it, yeah. Cook it, and then yeah, and then there's my grandfather that fucking loves it rare. I mean, it's like <laughs> it's like that's why I sit on the other side of the of the dining table and go like <laughs> keep that away from me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, especially with chicken and pork, man, you definitely want to not do that for the most, for most That's of the time. That's what I'm afraid of cooking. Um, you know, those um type of, uh, um, you, you cook your own meat, you know, like those um Japanese, uh, I don't know, do you have those, um like, restaurants? You cook your own meat? Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, Korean barbecue, too, like, does that as well, yeah. like, yeah, 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 yeah. Japanese, like, yeah, grills. I, I yeah. uh, yeah, I, I'm scared of fucking cooking chicken on those damn things. Cause mm -hmm. They're not even that hot when, you know, when you're there. Yeah. Yeah. That that That's that, that does. We, and, mm -hmm. and, but it's a good thing, like, well, in our stuff, because, well, you're not supposed to do it. There, you know, there's a gauge that you can raise the flame and stuff. So we kind of, like, wait for the waiter to go away. And then we're like, and crank. Yeah. <laughs> Because again, you kind of want to be safe, but you want to not like burn down the damn building. Oh, of course, like, yeah. I, I'm making this this grill hot so you know we can cook these meat correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's why if I ever like cook chicken, I'm gonna like do it in the oven or like um get an air fryer or something, <laughs> or um. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can you can uh, sous vide it to um, cook it to like right at right at that temperature or whatever. I think it was like, supposed to be like 160 internally or something for like the for um, what do you call it? like the actual safety protocol or whatever. Some people do it a little lower and they've been fine apparently, but I'm like super paranoid about that shit. So I'm, I'd rather do it 160 and people say, oh, it's going to dry out the chicken. I'm just like, eh, no, I don't no. I rather have some slightly dry chicken than throwing up in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I never had food poison. I don't think I've ever had um, that happen to me. Link, thankfully, but knock on wood, you bitch. Knock on wood. <laughs> Do it now. <laughs> right. I regret knock on wood. that shit. <laughs> yeah. No, but I've had. I've I had like. You... Oh, what? Oh, like stomach cramps and stuff. I mean, I've had like stomach cramps, but like, um, like, uh, what do you call? I've had stomach flu, so I'm not a stranger to like, um, yeah, going to the going into the bathroom and, you know, and do my business, all that stuff, in that sickly matter. But you know, <laughs> but I actually never had like food poisoning, you know. So I don't know, man. Um, but then again, like I don't really like cooked have chicken cooked uh in the house unless it's like in a soup or like um or slow cooked that's pretty much it or like um, um when it comes to pork we only get like sl thin thin sliced pork because that cooks pretty fast or like um ground pork or ground chicken because that cooks pre pretty fast that's like that's like easy but um, when it comes to sausage, oh my god, no! I, I'm I'm buying cooked, fully cooked sausage. No fucking way, man! I'm so paranoid about that shit. Okay, so okay, 
sorry again kids you know it's the high cast <laughs> yeah hard to see some tangent, tangent yeah tangent man. i can't stand my coworkers or family members you know the vienna sausage cans oh they yeah eat it right out of the cans and i'm like well that was cooked but yeah it's just but just the, yeah, know, the thought cooked, but, the thought but, yeah but but it's yeah to the thought of it i'm like the kitchen's right there <laughs> Please. Yeah, yeah, like warm it up or um, what do you call it? like uh, pan fry it? Yeah, yeah. But then yeah. they just eat it like right out of the can, and I'm like, I no, I can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess it's because the 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 not not the juices or the preservation ju- water. Yeah, you know it it soaks in. It's I guess I don't like that. Uh huh. Taste. It's like wet. Yeah. Because... <laughs> yeah. It's like that wet sort of thought <laughs> I I, I kind of get it I actually never had I don't think I've had Vienna sausage like straight out of the can like I've always like pan fry a little bit it, right? yeah 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 what about spam like <laughs> have you seen people eat spam straight out of the can yeah 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 but I I pan fry it yeah I rather pan fry it too So, anyways, that's uh, enough about that. After all the food poisoning talk and all that wonderful stuff with fast food, um, one point three did get uh shown off or revealed for ZZZ. So, I believe there was some sort of TLDR. And yes, so this is straight from Hoyle Lab. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So obviously, yes, the new character that's coming up is Yanagi, right? Um, and then after that, should be a uh, lighter. So thankfully for me, I can save up. Um, it is a little tempting, I will admit, because of all the drip marketing and the the trailers, right, with Yanagi, but um, I will. I will hold for for lighter. He looks really cool. I know, like, I should go for Yanagi more because, like, um, Anomaly and she's electric, and I have, uh, and she also supports other Anomaly electric units. So I think ideally I should go for her for the sake of quote unquote meta stuff, but my heart says. I see. Um... Mm-hmm. I want to say for for her, do it at the last week and just do one, you know, one temple. Hail Mary, Mary, yeah. (laughs) No, not not a temple, like a single one. A single one, just your luck. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. Just go, (laughs) yeah. It'd be so funny if you you go, like, eh. Mm hmm. (laughs) And she pops up and you're like, yeah. Oh Oh, my. Yeah. I mean, wait, you play on control. So just, so when you do it, just be necro, just go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the, the finger, yep. Yep. Yeah, because otherwise, yeah, yeah, I'm saving up for lighter. Although, lighter is interesting because he supports not only fire, but ice. So he'll definitely help out um, Ellen for the moment. But of course, he can pair up with uh, Miyabi. Uh, nicely as well because you know Miyabi I believe she's going to be ice but with Yanagi she will pair up with electric and or anomaly it's very nicely as well so that's the thing and anomaly right now is kind of like the the quote unquote meta because of how easier they are uh, building and such um so obviously, yeah, this is gonna come with a new, uh, yeah, special story or episode stuff. Same with uh, lighter, right? So new banner, new Bangbu stuff. But I think they're both, yeah, they're both A's, so that you can get them um, eventually. I mean, the same with S rank uh, Bangbus, but A's are a little easier to get, of course. Uh, let me see. 
oh yeah, you get free master tapes, right? The encrypted master tapes. So, oh yeah, and the same thing with Bong, uh, Bong Boo stuff, which is Boo Pawns. That also, uh, let me see, comes with, uh, yeah, optimizations, including new tabs, new, um, Okay, new interface and way to select weekly missions. Combat tab, right? So you get tabs, right? It's for easier navigation. Material crafting, dismantling assists. Drive disk, master copy, crafting. And then, uh, Yes, it basically it says adds uh, the crafting functioning or a no, function to tuning materials where you can use lower level master copies to craft higher level master copies. So that's pretty, uh, pretty nice. New sorting option for um, drive disks. So it's like, you know, a little navigation optional, whatever stuff. Mm. Pin agents and bong boos. Um, you can pin them so that way they can like come up first because I think right now you can't like really do that they, so you have to like go to certain agents on the bottom or whatever so that's a little annoying but they're gonna alleviate that and then uh, friend system stuff is gonna be a little more to it maybe uh, oh yeah expanding the size of the name card and adding a section to display titles and badges See, the friend stuff is still a little pointless because it's like, what else could you do with the friends list though, <laughs> right? Because you can't, uh, what do you call it? They don't do the thing with like FGO where you can't like borrow the units, right? Um, yeah. Or like in Star Rail, you can, you can use their, uh, you can borrow their units. So... Right now, the friend system thing is a little pointless, but maybe they'll do something with that. Uh, there's gonna be there's gonna be new modes for. Um, I don't know if this is a permanent. This might be uh, simulated uh, battle trial. So another like combat level kind of type of thing. Um, Erpergio fault, which I I believe is some sort of mode. Also throw in some lore in there too. Um, virtual battlefield mayhem. Uh, when sandwiches, sandwiches come a knocking, this is a, I'm pretty sure that's one of those like limited events. And uh, this is program. Another event called Help Kai. Uh, this is a bit data bounty, which I believe it means yeah. Uh, combat simulation rewards will be doubled doubling for uh drive disc as well so that's pretty nice and then yeah of course we'll get a new, the new uh chapter for the main story featuring um yep. section six i believe And I don't think they still like brought up the issue, not issue, but the update, right? For like more agents to uh, pick in the open world. No. Um, yeah, because we're still stuck with just Caesar. Yeah. Yeah, Caesar and uh, Bern uh, Bernus. That's the only two. Didn't really like, yeah, bring up like anyone else. I don't think anyway. So I'm not sure what's going on with that because especially with like Jane, Jane though should be in there, but yeah, because she was featured like so many times. Yeah, and yeah, she because they already have her model ready from the story, so I don't know why they just don't want to like plop it in there. Um, but whatever. Uh, in the meanwhile, um, there was this uh. What do you call? Oh no, uh, this is the wrong video. Let me get the uh, the the demo character demo. There you go. This is more of the cinematic stuff. <laughs> Ooh, 
あとは課長の署名だけそういえばアンパンもご無沙汰ですね The top dude, the top god. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I just want to play or、uh, get try and pull for the captain at this point. Maybe. Bye, bitch. How Overwatch used to do it. Yeah? Yeah, 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 no, that's. Which, that was the best thing of Overwatch, was doing these shorts, and then、mm -hmm. all of a sudden, f o g e t o l e Overwatch was kind of like. Yeah, like they were kind of like on. They were, they were definitely on to something. But then they definitely dropped the ball, and then because Blizzard stuff happened, and. Yeah. Blizzard and Activision. And, and, yeah. And, true. So, yeah, this particular part, to,、uh, right? After this. Yeah. <laughs> this part. People were like, that should have been me. <laughs> that should have been me. Yeah, I'm going to ask, ask you that, huh? Should that have been you? <laughs> Because I, I would have been the one that fucking just slapped his face on the paperwork, like, I'm done. I'm tired. Leave me, leave me to die.、Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's me right there. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. Also, I'm sorry, whoever. This is hand animated. Whoever did the hand animation of the. The what? You know, the, the boob, the、yeah. boobs, like rolling back into place after <laughs> fucking being on top of Sozaku's face. Yeah, see? It just, like, you know, someone had to hand, hand animate. Oh, no, that, yeah,、like. that's what I'm saying. Like, they, they just they know what they're doing. <laughs> they absolutely know what like, they're、I、doing. Like, I wonder if they did the way that I used to do animation. You know, like how you did, like, speak animation? You had to look in the mirror and, like, do it. I wonder if someone was like, ah. Tiff, Tiff, can, can, can you come up here? Why? Okay. Ah, still. <laughs> yeah, 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 I have some sort okay, of reference. One more time.、Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I got it. You okay there? Again? <laughs> no, go, go, go away. He's like, no, 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 go away. Yeah. I mean, that, that's how I met one of my best friends.、Um, Well, she didn't rest her boobs on me. She actually <laughs> knocked me over with her boobs. That's funny. Because I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. She wasn't. And、um, I guess someone called her name. And so she did a, like, a fast like, turn.、Mm -hmm. And、um, I was getting up to go to class. And then all of a sudden, slam. Oh, like, my God. 
so fucking good. She's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. She did pick me up, and she's like, are you okay? And I was like, hi. <laughs> I didn't know we moved this fast to be friends, but hi, my name is Zach, and you are? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then people. So, yeah, I'm not telling you. I, I'm not saying uh, you make good friends like that, but I guess I was one of the lucky ones to get mm-hmm. hit in the face with moves. Right. And remember, wearing those heels, those type of heels, and having to fight is a fucking nightmare. I'm sure. <laughs> this move, this walking yeah, I, around I, them are. I. I... Yeah, I can contest. I yeah. wore six inch um, stilettos cosplaying as fucking the linger. Yep, from One Piece. Yeah, they even uh, apparently like added a little bit of detail coming up here when she's like fixing her uh, heels, high heels. Like they even put a little mark right there to like yeah, like simulate the you know like the wear and tear on your feet <laughs> when you're wearing high heels. It was like. The, those little attention to details is kind of nice, right? Uh, on top of, yes, the, the boobs and all that stuff. <laughs> you know? Don't look at me like that, Venom. <laughs> I don't like boobies. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. like where the home is. <laughs> yeah, Anagi is definitely like, the, you know, the, the hot office lady, you know? That's like very serious about her work and oh yeah this part too everyone's commenting about the fact that miyabi has to use the uh, the box to get on top of the the desk so i guess it's supposed to signify how actually sh- short she is i thought she was like average height for some reason but i guess i mean i don't know i think it's just i think it's just a desk that's, just, that's like too too high or something i don't know because she, you know, she's she, probably at the desk too high because she's a high ranking. Yeah, she's the chief. She is the she chief. She's short. I want some. I want some. I want Billy, like someone to draw Billy doing the the stupid meme, going like, "How to not talk to short people." Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> In the next panel, he's like dead. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, "Wow, you are the leader, Smash." Yep. Hmm. Yep, and then she likes the the buns. So, like, those um uh snack boxes. Yes. On average, if I was going to buy it from Japan, on average, how much are those? 3,000. Does, does it depend on the, on the region? Uh, yeah, it depends, too, like, what you're getting, where you're getting it, and stuff. But they're about, about like... Oh, and season, right? And season. Season, limited times, and, like, all that stuff timing right um but they range around like three thousand to like four thousand of course you get the really expensive ones which are like eight thousand yen or even a hundred you know ten thousand yen or whatever that's like the the big boys right but our average will be probably like yeah three three thousand to four four thousand ish for good at least does it usually come like that like it'll come with the snack and the then, snack like, is like all individually and... wrapped and boxed and yeah it's like nice and then what is the brown thing then that oh it, on, it on the like left it's in a case no no um so oh so, get out of the fucking shot oh I, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah i know oh god she's like what do you call the smear frames? <laughs> she was really stretched yeah like smear frames but yeah uh, um what would that be referencing? I think it might be the tools or something to like um, either cut or pick or something. I forget what what they do. It's just like a, another utensil. Utensil like kind of expensive. thing. Yeah. So this is this is probably like a pretty premium box or something. Yeah. Because there was this some um, one piece like I guess um like snack box mm-hmm. that I wanted my friend to um grab from Universal, but when she checked the price, well again one it's from Universal, yeah. two it was it's gonna be jacked up. Yeah. She's like this was like twenty eight thousand yen. So I was like, okay, how much does that translate to? And she's like, I'm not buying it. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> 
pretty much. He's like, I know you can give me the money, but I ain't fucking buying it for you. I was mm-hmm. like, oh. okay. yeah. So instead, I guess she went to Don Quixote and she bought me um like a like a smaller like. Well, it was like a small box, but it was Pokemon um, cookies. Yeah. And they were really good. I think they were like some sort of like rice cracker. I was like, can't stop. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can even like see it right here too. She didn't even have to lift her high heel. You could like see it right there. The little little mark. Yeah, they really paid attention to detail with the feet for some reason. Because somebody likes feet. Like Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, good on him for saying it that he hasn't finished, but still, I'm like, um, <laughs> I mean, it kind of makes sense now when you watch, you know, his movies and those uh, foot scenes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it all makes sense. And speaking of, right, speaking of which, Asaba got uh, the drip marketing. So let's go ahead and uh, play some of the clips, right, to hear the voice. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, it's confirmed. It, she's a Naginata, not a, not a Kwan Dao. It looks like a Kwan Dao when she's, like, swinging or whatever, because look at, <laughs> look at the... <laughs> Oosh. Oosh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny, though. It does look like a Quan Dao, to be fair, when when she swings it. But no, it's a Naginata. I I, I figured it was because this this um section six is supposed to be like Japanese themed, filled with Japanese people, I guess. But yeah. Uh, so this is Asaba right here. Fancy testing my aim. That was one in a hundred. I guess. You and Seth will become boyfriends. <laughs> um, and then there's a Japanese one right here. Yeah. Imagine the Japanese voice. It's like, okay, here's the Japanese voice. The old thing is like kind of like a little bit high pitch or useful. No, it sounds like a fucking 40 year old guy. Like, <laughs> what is it? Oh, God, what happened? Right. Yeah. Asaba has the same voice for uh, Natsu from Fairy Tale, and then uh, I believe um, uh, for those who do play Genshin, it's the Wanderer. So, yeah. Um, let me see. You know, I I really thought of her Japanese voice would be um kind of like more of the um you know the motherly kind of like voice the ah mm-hmm. like that. a little different, a little different, but still like kind of equally motherly ish or older sister ish kind of trope, um. Yeah, you can kind of see what the uh, the picture right here, kind of get an idea. Oh yeah, Simone from Gurren Lagann, and Prompto. Yes, Prompto from Final Fantasy. Remember him? And then other such characters on here. As you can see, he wants to play young characters. Yeah, basically, basically younger boys, right? Younger uh, teenagers, teenage boys. It's a very shonen, obviously. Yep. Very shonen esque um, characters. Oh, Geo, right from uh, Bleach. Remember that? Remember that the Arankar, <laughs> Arankar. <laughs> I I rank her. I rank her. I rank. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So you kind of go back and forth with like the more um, like hot headed shonen characters, but he call, he also voices like the more pretty boy, like be shonen um, type as well. So that's the kind of voice actor that we have for Asaba. 
Uh, what do you think of his like I don't know, design or so Asaba so far? Any first impression of him? They have. I need to see his gameplay. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It looks like he's mainly going to use a bow and arrow, but looks like those uh looks like it can like break off and like become dual swords or something. So that'd be pretty cool. If that's the case. Uh he is going to be attack type, so he's just straight DPS and he is electric. So they're really pushing the electric. <laughs> And uh, Sorry, he, he said, what's up? He said the electric, so I started to see oh. the electric slide. <laughs> yeah, and I uh, I believe he's five, uh, no, not, not five star, S rank. He's going to be S rank. I think he's going to be four, uh, what do you call uh, A rank for some reason, following like a pattern with Seth and stuff like that. I thought he would be um, S rank, but no, uh, Sokaku, I guess, will be the. The sole A rank agent amongst uh, Section Six. So, the four, the I keep saying four star and five star, but the A ranks is going to be continuing to be barren, other than the the already existing ones, right? Because the only new character so far when it comes to A ranks is Seth, right? So that's kind of like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like so, they're really trying to like shove in the the five uh, the five star slash uh, S ranks, which is kind of annoying, but I get it. You know that's how you make more money, I guess. But yeah, I, I wish they add one uh one S rank, one A rank for like every major banner. But I don't know; they haven't really done that, I guess. Same with Genshin. Same with uh, Star Rail. Like they, I think they have like a a four star slash a rank problem right now it's like very barren so i don't know what it is other than of course money right but anyways i don't know if uh do you have any other comments about um zzz thus far <laughs> or up this point anything else good okay just Good luck on your pools, everybody. Yeah, good luck on the Yana Yanagi pulls. Um, I've done. Uh, I've already done my hail mary for what's her name, uh, Vernus. Nothing. So I'll do my little one hail mary for <laughs> for Yanagi, and then yeah, did my did my my toe, and then that's about it. But I'm definitely putting more or most of that. Excuse me for uh, lighter. So I'm waiting for the second half of this update. But I definitely cannot wait for the story. I definitely cannot wait to see what Section 6 is all about. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised they haven't uh, drip marketed uh, with her, what's her face yet. Um, Miyabi. I wonder when, when they'll uh, announce, have her announced. So... Uh, oh yeah, this is the uh, W engine for Yanagi. So this is very much tailored to uh, her sort of kit. But I think it also yeah, could work. Yes, yeah. yes. But I think it also could work for uh, Grace because yeah, um, it just brings up more proficiency, and then um, and then I think it also increases disorder. So. Yeah, I think, yeah, this could work for either one. But yeah, of course, preferably Yanagi because it actually, what, changes it, like, it does something with the colors or something, like the, her hair lights up or maybe her glasses will light up or something. I don't know. So if you want to go for both, then, you know, good luck, all I can say. Yeah, people are like, where, where's, uh, where's Miyabi? Where is she? So maybe next week, maybe next week or sometime, ne yeah, sometime next week we'll get that. Uh, He's out now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. I think Miyabi will be like a really big sell because of, you know, people love like the Katana thing, the whole yeah. Iaido 
you know, Virgil stuff, right? Same with the uh, Ayaka. Ayaka, um, very similar in fighting style, and she sold uh, quite a bit back in back in her uh, her uh, debut. Although now, unfortunately, she's a little irrelevant, but uh, yeah. We'll see about Miyabi though, because I mean Miyabi definitely will make um someone like Ellen irrelevant. <laughs> I'm afraid to say. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um some art random art stuff. That's about it. Alright, so let's move on next thing this is a kind of a quick one but uh still messed up in uh more ways than one so one of the voice actors named david wald right english voice actor um so what was going on or what is going on rather excuse me is that you know, with a lot of these English voice actors, they get like gifts or letters, you know, from fans saying like, thank you. Oh, you know, I love your work. I want to send you like a gift or something. You know, people like to do that, right? Uh, along with all, yeah. all the other like e-celebrities and other celebrities, blah, blah, blah. Um, apparently, it has been revealed by um, Wald himself in a way that Crunchyroll, people at Crunchyroll have been stealing his mail. His private mail, all that stuff has been taken by people at uh, Crunchyroll. So yeah, on top of like all the other like bad stuff that Crunchyroll has been doing over the years, you have this one now, which actually I think it's uh illegal, yeah? Like like it's like a it's a federal offense, right? To steal somebody's mail, right? If that's the case. Yeah, so that's an actual federal crime or offense. So if this is uh, true, then yeah, like that's kind of that, 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 those people are fucked. So um, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to read this from da uh, David Wall himself on uh, this is from Twitter. It's like a screenshot. It says, dear friends, if you send me anything, uh, any, anything care of Funimation or Crunchyroll in the last five years, I apologize. I didn't get it. I learned yesterday that Crunchyroll opened my private mail, threw away your letters and passed out any included items to their staff. Another voice actor, fellow voice act, uh, voice actress, Alexis Tipton said, oh God, what the fuck? Or WTF adding to the fact that they constantly give out free merch to the employees and voice actors aren't allowed to participate. We also no longer get free copies of our own work. We don't even get invited to Christmas parties. We are just a product. So yeah, that sounds like, yeah, like that voice actors like aren't even like treated like, uh, like one of their own, you know, despite how much work they put for, um, crunchy roll. Right. It's like, you know, it's continuing the thing with how voice actors and such are getting like not enough credit from not only people from but from like the industry as well. So yeah, it's real it's really rough, it sounds like when it comes to being a voice actor. Um, especially on the anime side of things. And particularly too with Crunchyroll. Like, fuck, man. It's, they're actually resorting to stealing your mails? Like, what the fuck? How fucked... How, how, how much more fucked up can they get, right? Other than, like, you know, sexual harassment and shit, I guess. But, man, I don't know. Uh, you have any thoughts on this situation? I mean... Ooh. As the comments over here says, I like how I'm pointing with my mouse. Like you can see where I'm yeah. pointing. <laughs> yeah. But so so happened your mouse did go over mm -hmm. there. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Like people saying like, 
how low, you know, how much lower can Crunchyroll go? Mm-hmm. And just, just, yeah. And then there was like a meme in there, like saying, "Like you guys, <laughs> you guys pay for Crunchyroll." Oh, there it yeah, is. Yeah, you guys funding Crunchyroll. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hey, 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 hey! Humble beginnings. We it was a uh, special site before they uh, went legal. <laughs> yes, that's really funny of where they come from too. Yeah, people forget about that stuff. I mean, yeah, you could say they started as pirates and they still are pirates, right? In some ways. Yeah, um, yeah, if this is, if this gets, gets sent to, um, or if, uh, Sony can, catches wind of this, they're not gonna, yeah, they're not gonna let that fly, because that's a, that's a, that's a crime and a half. So, yeah, they're not gonna, they don't want that in their name, so. <laughs> They'll definitely have to do something about that. Yeah, of course, all the comments are like, just like, yeah, you know, how country roll is this? How country roll is that? Country roll has a monopoly in a way, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because they ate up like fucking Funimation and stuff. Pretty much. They won the, uh, the coin flip, you know? Yeah, all those like voice actors from Funimation, they got merged into a uh, crunchy roll, so... But yeah, no, it's it's fucked up. That's really fucked up. I would uh, definitely hate to be in that situation if I were in his shoes. And yeah, Control is a fucking shitty company. It's another shitty corporate company, man. Hopefully, Sony gets uh, went, caught, catches wind of this, and they do something about that. Because that is a that's a huge crime. If that's uh, all true. So anyways, we'll, let's uh, go to the next thing. Hopefully hopefully there is some development, though, because, yeah, that's pretty serious. Stealing people's mail like that. But uh, meanwhile, um, Sony, speaking of which, has closed Neon Koi and also, of course, uh, Firewalk Studios. Firewalk Studios is the one that made a uh, Concord, right? The inf- the infamous Concord that they uh, shut down after, or uh, they um, took it off the market after what nine days ish at most. Uh, and now that you know, start uh, Firewalk Studios is gone. Guess what? Of course, Concord is permanently shut down. Yeah. So. Um, It doesn't really say a whole lot other than like, yeah, you know, we we, we did our best, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, I don't know. This uh, comes with some surprise, I guess, but also no surpri- uh, little surprise that um, Concord is like gone. But I didn't think they would uh, go as far as just start shutting down the studio. But I should have seen this coming because of what game companies have been or game studios have been going through, right? Like when they make a bad game, you know, that the big boys have to uh, go ahead and shut them down because of how much money they lost. You know, and seeing how much money they lost with uh, Concord, yeah, I kind of don't blame them for it. But yeah, yeah. Um, they should. They definitely should have not released the game, or put that game, or make that game something else, or let it uh, have more time to cook. Considering like the game started when uh, Overwatch One was popular, and then yeah, they re- they definitely had to put more time into it, especially with the character designs and the live service stuff, and you know. It's all in the fault of Sony, pretty much. 
maybe and maybe uh firebox studios had something to do with it but you know uh, mm -hmm. i think it's like it's like a collective thing you know of whose fault is it i think i think it's all their fault in some ways but you know uh of course hopefully the the actual developers such the workers right the hard workers um find another studio to, to be under real quick because yeah that's not a fun situation it really isn't and i'm pretty sure this this kind of stuff they find out like the following morning you know it's not like uh they don't get like a week's advance or anything like that or anything to the sort i'm pretty sure they got this like email or they just saw it on twitter oh no it's an email okay so uh they got the email like right at that morning and um it's i'm sure like a not not a great feeling i'm sure that you know so uh, the developers stomachs sank like just dropped when they see stuff like this i mean it's kind of dumb like people were actually like cheering that the game like closed down it's like okay i guess fuck the you know the you know the people that were behind the scenes it's not their fault that thing that yeah thing yeah yeah That is uh, all she wrote. That's all that can be said at this point. But she should not have come with the surprises, I guess you could say, because how much they lost, what Sony's been doing, what they've been what what they've been doing with this stuff and the, the Spider Man stuff and the license and all that nonsense. Bit of a shit show in the half. Just like this one, uh, lastly, for uh, Frontline. So, Twitch has been also, uh, have ha uh, had a lot of things going on too over time, especially with how inconsistent they are with their bands, who they suspend, you know what I mean? Like, who they bring back, you know what I mean? Like, all that stuff. Uh, what they don't allow, what they allow, right? Who gets away with it, who doesn't very very inconsistent across the board so with with an expert like devin nash who has worked in the uh streaming industry i, I believe warned according to Dexerto, warned that a adpocalypse is coming for twitch if they keep this up because yeah especially with like all the like political stuff has been going on like the uh, all those like streamers that say like very extreme things and and on top of the all the the sexual content uh, you know what i mean the the whole thing with like the bathtub stuff remember that and like people wearing like the swimsuits and the, this and this and that with their bodies and you know they're, what they're trying to do with like oh you know uh the art stuff and then this is a whole bunch of like back and forth and it's just a mess and yeah um but you know it's it is a prediction nonetheless so i mean it's, it's it doesn't mean that it'll like like it's, it's set in stone or anything you know but Honestly, with all the stuff that's been going on with Twitch, what they've been allowing, what they've not been allowing, and the inconsistencies, who knows, right? It, 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 that This definitely should not come with a surprise. Uh, what do you think? Do you feel like an adpocalypse is coming, or kind of like brewing, or boiling, or whatever you want to call it? Like... No, like something is gonna happen to Twitch, and then they're gonna fucking yeah backpedal super hard. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And they're gonna try and blame someone else instead for them, and it's like no, yeah, no, this is your this is your grave that you dug. Get in there. Mm -hmm. 
So, yeah, I mean, uh, you also have to think about that Twitch has not been getting Amazon money. They've been losing money because of um, on the Twitch side of things. Otherwise, um, Twi uh, Amazon, it, of course, is still getting money from like their own stuff, like the pr Amazon Prime stuff, of course. But ever since when they bought Twitch out, they haven't gotten anything from Twitch, I don't think, from what it sounds like. So the value is not there. So there's been some talks about uh, Amazon just letting them go. Cut the, you know, kind of cut the, uh, I guess, cancer or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to put it, but yeah. Got to cut it off at some point. It was not doing anything good for you, right? Especially with uh, what's been going on with this. And, um, so hopefully, uh, you know, the people who, who are on Twitch just for the sake of just watching streams or just streaming games, you know, like, hopefully, um, they don't get affected too much by a feeling something is going to come about, right? Yeah, it's going to come about because I think the partnership too, yeah? Yeah. It's coming to a close or affiliate affiliations. <laughs> they, they, yeah, it's pretty much like Twitch is collapsing again. Again, yeah. I mean, yeah. I... Just now, like, where are people going to What's the new um, uh, place to go streaming besides YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess for like some people, they already have that. Um, what's that art streaming um, a website? Oh, Picardo or something. Yeah, Picardo. Yeah. So there's that place that people, um, artists. That yeah, for artists, yeah. Art. Mm -hmm. yeah that's the thing right because twitch has been like that platform for a while a long while now you know it's it's the the, the go-to <clears throat> excuse me for um for streaming games and such right to and watch uh streamers play games but you know over time it, it started to like become like uh the react stuff and the drama stuff and the the only fans people like adult stars and like um and of course the real life stuff right with all the crazy shit that's been going on and then yeah of course there's kick yeah that's another whole nother beast but um twitch has been always been the go-to for streaming and, uh, yeah. you know, now, I mean, let's put it this way, right? If, if YouTube went through some sort of, um, adpocalypse, they, Twitch will too. Absolutely. They, they will absolutely yeah. face some sort of consequence, you know, with all the stuff that they've been doing. Kind of why I've noticed like some people some 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 certain streamers are also doing uh YouTube stuff as well or YouTube streaming. Yeah. You well, know it's also because um I guess some don't wanna, you know, make uh Twitch accounts or whatnot. Yeah. So Yeah, people who don't do the Twitch thing, they wait till the VODs go on to YouTube mm -hmm. so they never get on um, what you call the live yeah yeah I think honestly um, in the long term YouTube will come out on top but yeah definitely YouTube still needs to work on their streaming platform as well their streaming side of things as well yeah they need to work on that stupid ass AI Mm -hmm. The summarization stuff. Summarization, <laughs> uh, or get actual staff members to yes. look at these uh 
um what's it called uh accusations of like oh this this is a this is this or this is that mm -hmm. um i i own this song but you never heard of my company before but i own this song yeah yeah the, like, the, the the claiming song. yeah that shit was that shit was yeah. so annoying i i've seen that happen on my stuff too it's like like why like why is why is this company like trying to own the persona songs or something or it's really stupid but the fact that it can't happen is like ugh, come on you two and time and time again like all the false copyright claims on other people's channels and the fact that it's just so easy to do it's like uh right you know so we'll see we'll see about that all righty let's head on over to the game's news uh where is it where is it, where is it? there you go all righty so this is a little strange so the dreamcast is coming back the console i guess is coming back in a way um but it's not being released by sega but um by square so i guess square is um yeah this is according to ign releasing a line of hand-painted diecast console replicas of all Sega's classic game consoles. And you can pre-order them now. So yeah, that was uh, back from October 24th. All right. For some reason, yeah, Square is the one that's making all these uh, replicas or whatever. But of course, yeah, that's already been sold out or whatever or pre-ordered is this just me Oops. is this just Oops. me or is that a crack am i crazy enhance <laughs> i i'm not sure oh god it is it looks like a crack or something like something is going on like what's with these pictures Oh no, oh wait, so oh they're f oh it's like a I see. Okay. They're die cast like uh what do you call? Yeah, they're not I mean it says figure right here, but like you know the, 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 the uh they're just actual replicas. Okay, 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 okay. I thought they're like actual consoles, but no, okay. Yeah, I figure I'm like damn like forty bucks, like what what the fuck's going on? Okay, so it's like it's a die cast. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense because, yeah, Square kind of owns some of those, like, die casting or, like, the figures or whatever the companies. Something mm -hmm. like that. Or, they're, like, they're partnered or something. I forget. Okay. That that, that put me to a loop for a second. <laughs> I'm like, why are they all 40, uh, $43.99? Like, what? Okay. All right. But, yes. Um, sorry. Yeah, I... I, I, I this caught me though because yeah that looks like a crack or something man i don't know what's going on with these pictures like it looks like it's all like scuffed up or something yeah even on the controller it looks like that black like yeah what's up with that yeah it's, it's from the square enix store too so it's not like from a weird third party company. This is straight from Square. It's on Amazon anyway. Let's check out the Genesis. Okay, there's nothing weird there. It's just that one picture from uh, the Dreamcast side. But why is the Dreamcast all like. Wait, so, okay, so yeah. Why is the Dreamcast all like, like silvery too? That's what I'm wondering now. Since they're supposed to be um, replicas, right? Shouldn't they actually match up the the console they're you know modeled after? Yeah, why is it like the coloring and stuff? Yeah, like why is it not like white? 
Why is it like silver? What the fuck? Is it just supposed to be like a metal die cast or something? Or like a metal chrome plated die cast? Huh. Yeah, same with this too. Because I don't think the um, Saturn is metal. Yeah, it's supposed to be like Okay. It also doesn't specify like what's the scale. What's the scaling on this? Is it like one six or one eight? How big they are? I don't know. Like, I have a feeling they're pretty tiny, from what, from judging how like detailed "quote unquote" those buttons are. So a little weird. If you ask me. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do these replicas do exactly? A working Dreamcast would be better. Yeah, it's funny. I wonder how many people actually f thought these were real. Yeah, see, look at the Dreamcast right here. This is the real Dreamcast. It's got that, like, like that white plasticky thing. Oh, weird. Uh, I, I'm not gonna drop money. Yeah, yeah. You can drop money. <laughs> it's just weird that, yeah, like, Sega's not doing it. It's square, you know? But I guess then again, it's a, you know, a figure thing. So, yeah. Alright, so moving on to Fortnite stuff. So... Apparently, they're saying goodbye to various Battle Pass currencies and uh, um, hello to good old-fashioned XP with rewards soon unlockable no matter what modes you play. Uh, at least according to Games Radar. So, uh, Zal, what's going on here? Uh, okay, so okay. I guess I guess a lot of people started to kind of come out and saying like, hey, we kind of just... Don't want to buy like two, two to yeah, like two separate battle passes one for the music battle pass and then one for the actual, you know, VR and, mm -hmm, and other, mm -hmm. um, okay, and other modes, yeah, like the Lego so one, pretty much, yeah, yeah, the, the oh, yeah, the Lego one was also a fucking battle pass as well. So, pretty much now, which, um, before, before we started the podcast today, I dove in to see, you know, because the update. I, I kid you not, it was 65 gigs, and I was like, the fuck was this update about? Dang. But, uh, anyways, so what they're doing is they're pretty much doing away with the, um, you buy music pass, you buy the uh, Lego pass. Mm -hmm. It seems it'll be like conjunction with like whatever battle pass you play play on play as and it will just um accumulate for for the other battle pass so if you are strictly i'm just gonna play the music you know the music um battle pass side you accumulate that and then also on the br side it will also accumulate as well i didn't test it yet mm -hmm. but um it's it seems that even if i i did buy the battle pass so we'll we'll see like what happens when i get the first um level Mm hmm right yeah like i and see like okay i'm i'm level 10 on the battle pass let's see what i what it looks like on the music pass. So we'll see with that yeah um on the other side of um progressions and stuff like that uh, i guess new more like modes are coming in because granted Fortnite is kind of stale when you look at it. Yeah, there's either the you you play the not rock band, but it's fucking rock band. Yeah, Guitar Hero, and then you have your BR mm -hmm. with or without um um build mode, and then you have a uh, oh fucking racing. Yeah, racing sense. there's another one too. Yeah, yeah, and then you have um the Legos. So it's it's 
it's kind of like yeah it's like either it's like choose choose you know it's like choose your fun yes but don't expect a lot a lot mm-hmm. from it mm-hmm. we'll see if this is a a good stuff and i don't know and i don't think it's gonna be this season but it might or this season chapter whatever you want to call yeah. it yeah but it might be like the next the one next they're gonna one. try implement they're gonna implement the uh the whole like hey since you missed out on this battle pass here's some of the characters or skins that mm. you can buy off the shop yeah yeah so at least fortnite is evolving if you want to call it that evolving. yeah and um I mean, it's my BR right now. I, I gave up an Apex because, you know. Yeah. Respawn didn't know what the hell they were doing at the time that I, I was playing religiously. Mm-hmm. With all the nerfs and buffs and the weird-ass um, changes to mostly all the um, legends. Yeah, and then now, like, they changed the battle pass. Uh, They split it into two. Yeah, it's like part... Like part one, you get this much, and then part two is like later in the season, right? Yes. Like yeah, it's very strange. Yeah. So in theory, you don't, um, you can miss out on like this costume, so you only have the chance to get the other half. So like this costume yeah. or this gun skin or whatever. So it's, yeah, I don't know about that, man. I I really don't know why they are doing that other than trying, trying to keep the players in as much as possible. But yeah, it's really stupid. Um, I don't, oh yeah, it says, there is a question that says, wait, when will, when will the, uh, the move away from uh, festival points, battle stars and studs happen? Um, it says festival points will be retired when the battle, uh, no, music pass goes live November 2. Battle stars will be retired December 1. Studs will be retired December 1. Uh, at which point the brick and treat, brick or treat Lego pass will begin to progress from XP gain in any Fortnite experience. So yeah, it looks like they're all putting it in one track essentially, which is good. I think. I think. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it is a lot to take in otherwise. So yep, yeah, I mean, at least they're trying. Unlike some yeah, other, trying, like, yeah. like I, I just fired up um Fortnite to just like see again, like yeah. see. Mm-hmm. see. So right now I'm on the music pass. Uh, section yes so it's giving you the option to buy it but on on the new ui it's saying music pass week one play any fortnite experience to gain xp during music festival season six so Mm -hmm. again probably like oh yeah go go play br br mode or play um uh create mode and Mm -hmm. and stuff and then then you'll see like your progression. Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. That's interesting. At yeah, some so point, I, yeah. at least again, they're 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 switching it up. They're switching it up. Yeah. Nice of them. Unlike uh, Apex. Right. Or respawn in general. <laughs> or re- yeah, he's respawn in general. All right. We'll see how that all plays out. Uh, up next, we have Nintendo. Uh, but not like, you know, what you think. Nintendo has announced Nintendo Music, a new app that lets users stream music from Nintendo's library of soundtracks. So it's kind of like think of it like Spotify, but with but with um, Nintendo Music. Essentially, uh, they can play it on your phone or whatever. So, yeah. Oh, I, I I didn't notice this on. Um, oh, what? 
on uh, the Fortnite. Sorry, going back to Fortnite yeah. on the uh, on the battle pass. Remember how the battle pass said it was? It's from level one to one hundred. Uh huh. Or more to get the bonus shit. So I guess the initial battle pass goes only up to fifty. Oh, that's oh okay. This is there's no like part two or anything, is there? I'm look trying to look at it like. Eight out of well, because I bought the I bought the expensive version of the bath acid. Um, eight out of fifty. Usually, it'll be like eight out of a hundred. So. Right. So they like cut out a lot of the the filler stuff. Maybe I'm guessing. Fillers, and then it's the um, and then it's the bonus reward. Mm hmm. Where you know you you claim all after. You know, gaining the battle pass. Mm -hmm. I'll be in the battle pass, but I don't know if this is a, a not a, not a glitch, but like a like a typo um, or something or typo because there's seven pages where it goes up to fifty. And let's say I wanted to buy the level right now, like go you know just buy like from one one to fifty or whatever on that. It's like, well, for me, it costs like five thousand, six thousand, uh, V bucks. So that's like almost forty bucks. No, more than forty bucks. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, um. This. I don't know if this is odd or is this is like. I guess this season, I, I'm, I'm going to say this season is going to be their experimental on their yeah. battle pass. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the, the gaming levels is the same thing. It's the same amount, 80,000. So. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, meanwhile, oh, I uh, get it. Oh, so. Oh, so. So there. Well, I'm looking at the music pass. So there's the regular bar where you know it's the free one that you can progress without mm -hmm. paying, and then if you want the, the one at the bottom, that's the premium data pass where you buy. So there is that little like, you can. Progress side by side with the other battle pass but if you want like the the not the special like emotes and um songs and whatnot then you gotta buy the uh premium track oh okay which will cost at the moment a thousand seven hundred um no, a thousand four hundred V bucks, mm. which is pretty much like nine dollars and some change. Mm -hmm. so, um, this season again is going to be weird. Yeah, and if you have, uh, and also if you guys have thirty dollars to spend, you can have Snoop Dogg. Really nice um, uh, emotes and songs mm -hmm. when you buy his bundle. All right. Hey. Uh, we'll, see. we'll see what Fort yeah. Fortnite does. Yeah, let's see how that experiment uh, goes. Hopefully, it goes well. Hopefully, it goes well. Now, what comes to this? Which now, is Nintendo music. Yeah, Nintendo music. This is. I uh, heard. A lot of negatives on this. Oh, what's up? Mostly of like, you know, it is music from games and stuff, but are the artists is credited? Oh, you know the new. 
So, um, I think it was Simmons that retweeted it. That saying like, you know, a person that does work in like a Japanese company and it's pretty much, yeah, no, no one's getting credit or stuff because, you know, you work for a company. So you kind of give up your right or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's that. And it's like, mm, that's kind of like, oof. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, that's kind of, a... that's not cool. Oh, yeah, here, here. I found the tweet. Uh, regarding the lack of composer credits in this app, as soon as someone who is a full-time employee of a Japanese company, I might be able to shed some light on this. Although I work as a designer, I imagine the same in other creative mode. Not being created, not being credited is the norm here. When you join a company, it's, um, you, it is understood that you will not receive credit outside of a credit screen. Uh-huh. Japanese companies care a lot about craftsmanship and see themselves in a black box Willy Wonka chocolate factory way where you don't get to see who's behind what. Mm. With these composers, it's a bit different because they've been credited in games so far, but generally you can't tell people what you worked on as a confident because that's a confidential info. So, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. All right. Something like that. Okay. That's a, but, bit of a, yeah, that's a bit of a weird Yeah, situation. that's the controversy about it. Okay. Now, the light side of this is like music on the go. Yeah. From Nintendo. Yeah. The highest possible quality, I guess, and such. It's all like. I know, it's like a like, question mark. Yeah. Um, I guess the convenience, yeah, like you're saying. And yeah the thing though yeah, is of course you need to have the online membership in order to get access so you do, so it's not completely free unfortunately but, but again you, it's like why yeah yeah i mean it's just, it's just for the sake of convenience i guess i mean you know people are saying like just go to youtube right but um yeah it's like either go to youtube or yeah it works for the most part it's just you're just gonna it's kind of like a, uh, what do you call, uh, Russian roulette when it comes to the quality, right? Cause some, sometimes the quality of the videos are like, yeah, some, some uploaders, they, they do care about the quality of the music. Yes. So they'll, you know, make it nice and stuff. Others, they, they just rip it very poorly and mm -hmm. then just say done. Yep. And it's just sounds, you, you can, you can definitely hear in the sound for sure. Like they, yeah, just... you can hear. Like um, when it comes to NES games, the you can hear like the different pitches of the song of the yeah of the music, and you're like, "Ooh, what the hell is that?" Right. I'm gonna put my dog in the in the face. Um. Sometimes too, like uh, they don't just upload the right settings, right, or just the right numbers. That's why the sound. Mm -hmm can be a little off so like the killer bit the bit rate all that stuff is uh, kind of important but people don't pay attention to some people some uploaders don't pay attention to that because they just want to just rip it and uh, get the numbers right it's like a clout chase thing and yeah they don't take the time to do that to consider those things so that's one way to look at it for Nintendo's music or whatever. But overall, I'm just going to just go ahead and use YouTube as the go-to for music. And uh, yes, and there is YouTube music, so that even further sort of nail it. Uh, put yeah, more in so it. I never used it. I, I bet you it's not every game in their library. Yeah, that's also true, right? They probably like are just gonna trinkle it in, like, oh yeah, we updated this. Oh yeah, we updated. It. You know, give, give it them, give it that sense of like, oh, we're proactive with the app, right? It's kind of stupid, but whatever.
just to kind of like you know keep it relevant i guess all right let's get a move on here um this one this is the last one oh yeah so the beta for uh monster hunter wilds is out and i just wanted to uh put this bug in here because it just looked really funny hammer user just goes Bunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you played the beta yet? No, I have not played the beta. No. Okay. I'm going to tell you straight up. The UI sucks ass. Ooh. The trying to just, you know, form a fucking party within the other... Um, because uh, this time around, a lobby system... There's a hundred people. Yeah. But within the hundred people will be separate automatic rooms to make. Uh huh. And there will be like 16 people each. But again, 16 divided by a hundred. Hello? Math, math. Math goes out the fucking window. Yeah. So there will be like one room that will have less than whatever. Mm -hmm. Farming the party plus how horrible the UI is, is a nightmare. Mm. Yeah. But once you once you get it working, it solves every fucking problem of online shit. Mm -hmm. What I mean is, okay, imagine you and I are hunting, right? Yes. We're in the middle of a hunt. Yeah. We already um like accepted it. We're like, I wanna say I'm gonna throw a number. We're ten minutes in the hunt. Oh no, I disconnected. Three seconds later. Hi, I'm back. Mm. The quest doesn't yeah, like the quest doesn't like falter. It just picks up where where I left off. Mm -hmm. or, you know, well that so that's the beauty of it right now. Mm -hmm. And it's called um link like link uh link party or something like that. So that's the weird ass thing too. It's like you're in the one hundred man fucking lo lobby yeah you gotta find your friend mm -hmm. you gotta do the link shit and then you gotta do it an environmental link shit oh, so what, what the, the environmental link shit is is that's how you create your own bubble so to speak mm. okay. so once you link up with the link um stuff so that's how you know you don't like like when you dis you DC from from the lobby or from the the hunt, you can just immediately come back in and like nothing happened. Yeah, the environmental shit is pretty much you're you're in your own little bubble within that lobby of one hundred people because <laughs> in that lobby, when you go into a room with sixteen other people, they can just jump in. Mm -hmm. Like you could already be in a in a quest going like. You know, like, oh, I'm hunting right now. I'm soloing. But you will just see, like, some random guy come. Like, they don't need to, like, queue up, right? Mm -hmm. They'll just come, like, passing by and go, like, bonk. Mm -hmm. Hi. And then they can just run off. And it's like, oh. Hey there. Mm, so you can just, like, have just random people, like, kind of come and go, I guess. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so that's why you create the link, the link party, and then you create the environmental link where mm -hmm. it's like you isolate your guys. Yes, yeah, so your just, format. You're making your own little room within. Yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, you you still see like lobby like um conversations or text like yeah, you know, you like stickers here and there and yeah, like. You know, or someone typing in chat going like, hey, I'm about to hunt this monster. Queue up now, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, there, there, there's that. But I, I haven't found that option to just turn it off because I don't want to fucking read yeah. lobby shit when I'm in my little bubble. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, The other thing, uh, the other stuff with this beta. You can tell, and Max has already seen it, said it, a lot of um, veteran hunters already said it, this, if you are staying on console, 
like PS5 specifically, this is a PS5 Pro game. Ah, uh. like, like it. I, I'm agreeing with them because I'm on performance. I mean, on um, graphic mode, you know, to make everything look pretty. Yes. And yes, I'm gonna be stuck with like average thirty frames. Sure. Oh well. But when you go to performance mode, I don't know if it's my system or it was my resolution, but a lot of people are saying the same thing. I'm not kidding you. The graphics drop. It's like you're fucking watching 360p. Yeah, and then is it like this or like? Oh, yes, yes. Oh my god! Like it, it, it is not fucking like when I saw it, my eyes were like, oh. Oh, and also, what's what's also worse if you go performance mode? It's not even a solid 60. Yeah, I, I heard that's it is struggling to um, yeah. yeah. That's why a lot of people are saying like this is a PS5 Pro, uh, game, and I'm like I am not spending fucking eight hundred dollars. Yeah. On an on a, uh, well, it's seven hundred for the upgrade, but an extra what hundred dollars for just the fucking disc tray? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Like no, thank you at this point. And no, I'll, I'll stick with performance mode. And then my <laughs> friend is like, "Oh, just play it on PC. I'll buy you the games." Like that's not the that's not the fucking point here, right? I don't want a double dip to just play because one, yeah, it's crossplay. Finally, it took like so many generations of this game to get to this point. To this crossplay, mm -hmm. but the thing I'm I'm trying to get it through my friend's head. Is like there is no cross save. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go back, go on the PC version. Yes. And fucking do. Let's say I already did a hundred hours yeah. when the game drops. I don't want to relive a do, yeah. hundred hours. Mm -hmm. on another machine. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's. How it is. I don't want to relive that. And that cause yeah. we, we almost did that to me with um, Rise. With a uh, Rise. Yeah. Like they almost bought me, and I was like, you know what, guys? I already jump dump like, and it's a low, it's a low hour. I I could have done better. I was like, I already dumped three hundred hours in this game. I don't want to do another three hundred in the PC version to just get back to where I am. Mm -hmm. You buy me this game, I'm going to mod the fuck out of this game. You know, like, I'm going to get the best gear, the best, like, gems yeah, of yeah, the yeah. ass. And I'm just going to go, like, end game gear already when I'm not even supposed to be at end game. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's fine, because you're just going to be playing with us. It's like, you're not getting it. <laughs> that's how much I hate double dipping sometimes. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's why I'm just going to stick with PC. Um, if I am going to get into Monster Hunter uh, uh, Wilds, I'm just going to just go straight PC and then just, you know, go from there. But that's the other thing too. Like you have this, this game is also going to make you sign up, sign your, or tie your, uh, Capcom ID. Right. So why can't the Capcom ID also be the one to hold your save file so you can do that transfer? It's kind of like, you know, Google, your Google yeah. account yeah. tying to every fucking, you know, app. Oh, mm -hmm. I have, I have an app on this that I play. Here's my tablet. I'll yeah. download the same app and then log in. Like, yeah. why can't it be like that? Yeah. Or, yeah, like, same with, like, uh, mobile games, right? Like, they've been doing it for years. Or, or um, yeah, especially with uh, Star Rail, um, Zenless, whatever, Genshin, whatever. You play on the phone, play on your PC. Save files all there. Flawless. Yeah, so I've noticed, like, um, this stuff, right? The, po the, the Polygon stuff. Yeah, this is uh this is performance mode everybody. Yeah. You try to get the uh the um 
best possible fucking frames per second. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, this UI, it's fine to me. Uh -huh. It's just, and um, what's nice about this, uh, I guess, um, in the settings, you can make it large or small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to take up like this big bag, bag space. You can just be squished. Mm hmm. Oh, God, a tongue. And then, um, like, like um, someone said in Michael's chat, like, they never played Monster Hunter um, before. How difficult is this game? It's like, it's not really that difficult. It's just finding your weapon. Yes. Like, finding your style. Finding yourself. That's yeah. What, that's what. It, that's what this game is. Find what defines you. Mm -hmm. Great sword is me because I I just want to go unga bunga and then right. the new um, power clash um, mechanic. So only a certain amount, a certain um, uh, what's it called? Certain weapons can go into power clash, which pretty much if if you're able to like hold a block button, there you go, power yeah. clash. So, so it's pretty so much does it work a, with shields? Do you, do you know? Yeah. Okay. So all so gun can gun lands, regular lands, sword and shield. Nice. I don't know about charge blade. Mm. I think it can work on charge blade, but you have to be in that other stance. Mm -hmm. Um, great sword, obviously. And mm. then, um, so what the power clash is? Um, there are certain attacks that the monster will do or telegraph. It's pretty much every time they do the big wind up, that's when you can do the power clash. But it's like a, it's almost like a parry. Mm -hmm. So, and it's not like Sekiro where you can just do this mm -hmm. and then you'll get the parry. No, you have to like time it. And when it does happen, it's, it's cool. Cause you're, you know, you're progr power struggling like, Hey, fucking. And it also helps that um, when you're in that power struggle, your friends or fellow hunters can like beat up on the on the thing. Mm -hmm. And then my friend, uh, and then in this beta, you get to test out the uh, the weapon switching and stuff. So he tried it mm. um, with a hunting car and buff your ass, and then let let's switch to another weapon. The buff stays with you, even after you put away the stuff. But uh, I think he said it's when you do it, it's a short um, duration. Oh, like, uh, the timer goes down faster. Right. So I'm like, you know that that's that's a good compensation for it because you know to have full buffs, like Jesus Christ. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. So that's the way to balance it out. Yeah, yeah, some people are saying like are they they download the wrong game. Some of these uh low polygons remind them of fucking Silent Hill. And I was like, oh, what a we getting? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Silent Hill just came out like a a month or two, a month before this game yeah. or this beta. Yeah, I heard about the struggling on the performance mode, and not to mention on I guess on PC side, like whenever you put it on like low graphic or have to load the graphics, it just really goes to shit. Um, yeah, it goes to shit, and that's why um, Capcom, well, Monster Hunter's Twitter um, issued like, hey, download the reshader patch or whatever. So mm -hmm. It should work down right there, Power Clash. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Yeah. So while, again, so while they're in Power Clash, um, if you, if I was the one doing it, you can also wail on the monster. Mm-hmm. Because they're pretty much like locked on to me. So yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Okay. So it gives so more. Up and do yeah. as much damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It gives more incentive to those classes that block, and they they're like they're more of a, like a tank, the soaker, right? Yeah. And they and then your buddies can just wail on them. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like. Oh, that. I forgot the one thing also about the the link party and the DC. So someone DCs from the group. Yeah. The leader of the groups, um, Palico, shows up in place. And, you know, like, me, I mm -hmm. help you. And then once your friend who DC'd um, comes back, okay, bye-bye. Mm. 
So it's like, wow, it's not like it. You're not losing any. You know, you're not losing something. Yeah. You're just you just pretty much have a placeholder. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you are gonna get um disoriented with the mapping because it can it does the whole three D like you can go like this then you can go like ooh, oh. like that. My friend got fucking disoriented, and I oh, okay. and I think there is an option to turn it off. So it's like okay, they're thinking like. Mm -hmm. Um, there are some quality of life changes, but it's not like a lot because you know you I I I need to play the full thing before giving you know, like a a verdict. Um, the new moves that are with the weapons, it's pretty much like. Looks cool, and some are like, "Ooh, why? What? What's this change?" Um, like, have you played Longsword in um, Wilds Arise? Uh, I play a little bit of Longsword in uh, Rise. Okay, so Longsword, you know, like how you can do a Helm Breaker. Yes. Like, like that. Yes. Okay, so once you do. Once you come back down, if you have enough um, spirit gauge, you can do a follow up attack where you pretty much do like a full moon slash and then follow up with another slash. Mm -hmm. But you kind of have like having a lot, um, a bit more uh, spirit gauge. Uh huh. Your uh, when you do the um, when you sheet your sword and you do your initial cut. Um, same thing. You can follow up with another attack. So they they added stuff mm. to make it more flashy for some weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, great sword. The only shit that we have is just now we can charge up the upswing. Um, oh, that's the other thing with upswings or people with weapons that can launch people. Took yes. that away. Oh, oh man. Because there were times that I'm up swinging and I had like somebody like really right next to me where the sword can like smack you into the air. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Oh, you, you did not fly. Mm -hmm. Let's try it again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then. Well, more quality of life. Uh, what about the? Uh, I the, guess the sorry. Um, uh, the, do you know what they're doing it? with the uh, the ammo management for the bow guns? Ammo management, pretty much the same thing. But it when you're doing your special attacks uh, or your special like um, oh the shots, yeah, special attacks. Yeah, the shots. They they actually give more kick. Oh. So I'm guessing it's gonna be a gem or like a a gunner set mm -hmm. where you know you you're more stable because there are some ammo now they actually fucking like holy crap I am like on a freaking roller coaster yeah like the the recoil okay yeah the recoil is actually like like oh my god mm -hmm. I am bouncing yeah yeah uh, uh but what do you know like anything about like crafting ammo or like are they just like doing away with that oh yeah thing? so the crafting is actually like better oh is it better one, okay so. okay because you know like how you can auto like you go into your crafting list and you could be like oh if i pick up in herb please automatically um mm -hmm. you know change it yeah, so yeah. that that that's nice with ammo wise it's pretty much the same thing but it's in its own separate pouch now it does mm. not share the uh the um the regular inventory pouch. okay okay, so I'm okay. Like, oh thank god yeah that shit was annoying that's why i kind of like dropped the the guns uh because of the annoyance of the uh the ammo and like the management and all that stuff but okay maybe i'll give it a whirl in wilds once that once the like, full game is out yeah, like the beta is pretty much giving you a taste of what the stuff, what these weapons can do. But the yeah, armor set that they have with it, it fucking sucks ass. So yeah. Like, like playing longsword and because my mind is still on like, oh, I have um, quick sheath so I can do my, my little 
freaking weeaboo attacks. <laughs> I'm like, all right. I'm like, all right, here it comes. Why is it taking like 3,000 years to put back in my soul? Oh, God, I'm using beta fucking gear. Mm, okay. Um, oh. the character creation. Yeah, great creation. I was going to ask you. It's actually more robust. Robust. Like, you can do fucking anything. Like, as you were scrolling, mm -hmm. some people made Frieza, some made Mr. Satan, mm -hmm. some people made uh, um, Jerry of the Wilds. <laughs> <laughs> someone someone made freaking um michael jackson yeah yeah someone i think like, i think i saw that like somewhere mm -hmm. and i was like damn and oh yeah someone made someone made freaking yoshi p yeah <laughs> oh, like, i think it's supposed to be on neanderthal but yeah but yeah oh yeah no that is oh yeah that is i think that is. yeah so i'm looking at it yeah yeah but because Yoshi be retweeted and he's like, maybe we should bring that into um FF14. I was like, do not fucking do that. Oh my gosh. All right. So there's this stuff too. It says you can now swim and then explore underwater. All armor can be equipped by any gender, of course. Yeah. yeah. Um. Wait, is this from? Oh, yeah, that's what my friend did. Okay. Okay. And yeah, that... so this is the um a recap of what's what's to come. Yes. Uh, um the focus mode it's gonna take some some to get used to. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you straight up. Okay. You only use the focus mode when you see weak points. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, game yeah. indicates like a weak point has been made. Mm -hmm. So Weak points will be like glowing super red, and that's what you're supposed to hit. And then you do your special animation. Focus strikes are your special attacks. Okay. Flares can now be used offline. So yep. a group of NPC teammates. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Random... So the SOS, SOS flares getting the NPCs to help you actually will, will be good, but I haven't tested it out yeah. because you know, there's not a monster yet where i'll be like oh fuck i'm struggling yeah mm -hmm. the web the weather element uh events they are okay some people hate it i like it because this is your hunter the weather is not always going to be sunshine and rainbows yeah, yeah, yeah it can be it can be sunny right now and then in a freaking heartbeat it'll be like a thunderstorm. sandstorm yes yeah, thunderstorm or sandstorm okay and it seems like when the sand, when the thunderstorm happened, it's because of the um, the current um, uh, uh, monster, you know, the one that we call it railgun hit because it fucking shoots like a railgun. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm guessing that there are certain monsters when they appear in the land, they bring their own calamity. So mm. let's say uh, Ushadora. The, the wind um, wyvern mm -hmm. comes in, it's going to bring a freaking tornado. Uh, Teostra, when that comes in, it's probably going to be like super hot. So you want to drink cool drinks. Um, Camellios, I want to say it's going to bring some sort of element, but it's just probably going to be like poison, invisible. Oh, okay. Well, calamity. So, um, uh, I want to say if Zenogre shows up, I'll be yeah, you can see a little thunder when yeah. it, when it charges up. So yeah, I'm gonna. So looks like monsters with elemental um, attacks will change the the weather. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah which yeah, is yeah. good. Oh, and also they 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 do go the extra mile with these um ones that does elemental attacks. So just like railgun head. When he shoots into the sand, it actually, like, you can see the sparks and the streaks in the sand, and it will also make, like, it's, well, it's supposed to be glass, but, like, little pillars of, you know, the stripes of mm. the sand, like, burn, because, mm. you know, it's you know, electricity, but just seeing it, you know, in the game, is like, wow, that is a nice touch, and it, it stays there. Yeah. For, for a while. It doesn't go, like, pink. Okay, I'm done. It's like, 
pink. Good luck. Because uh, we were testing stuff. Like, okay, let's just let guys, let's stay in here. Let's see what happens. And, you know, it'll do up an effect like, oh, I'm in this highly, you know, concentrated um, area that probably has a lot of. I'm bringing science into this, mm-hmm. even though it's a video game. There's a lot of electrons in the air. What, what will happen? You're probably gonna attract more lightning to strike at you. And uh, lo and behold, that's what happened. I'm like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're real. I mean, you know, we got some real stuff. The realism, yeah. Into this. Game. Yep. Okay. Neat. This one talks um, about portable oh. camp. Mm-hmm. Um, portable camp is pretty much what it means. Portable camp. Um, and they can place it down. Yeah. Go in and so yeah. Can't be destroyed by monsters, so that yeah. Yeah, I I was an asshole to my friend because he needed to restock, and so <laughs> he went into spoiled camp. So I just grabbed one of the nearby monsters. And oh, I, did you did you kite him into the? <laughs> like, like come on, come on, come on. Mm. He's like, what the fuck? I was like, I don't know. It decided to, you know, say hello. I don't know what happened. They walked. I guess they brought this from when in world when you were fighting behemoth mm-hmm. where, you know, like when you're fighting behemoth, you're one hunter is supposed to attract all the, um, the hatred. So it can just target that one. So there, so they brought that back ah. that, um, there will be a, like a red line to like a certain hunter if they did so much damage. And so, like, we figured out what that meant. And so, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why this this monster. Then why is that red line there in front of you? I, I'm not making any accusations, but mm. yes, it likes me. <laughs> like... Man. Someone's, um, yeah, someone. yeah, large monsters can be roam, can roam in herds. We already talked about this crossplay at launch, no cross saving. Yeah, then no mm. save, which again, it's a lot of freaking like you had it. You were at the cusp of greatness. greatness yeah. Wilds. Mm-hmm. Parties do not disband yeah, after completing uh, quest. Everyone stays on the map. That's cool. Uh, Cutscenes can be skipped in multiplayer. Early, very early That's build. Beauty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the cutscene can be skipped in multiplayer. That 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 is a joy. So it's like okay, because remember in in world, in order for you to like join into someone's uh, quest, I I remember. Yes, you had to finish watching the fucking cutscene. Then you join the damn thing. Yeah, like you had to wait for them to go like, okay, come in now. Oh, okay. <laughs> so now it's like, so the cutscene being skipped in multiplayer that. It's kind of like for me and Chaotic um, doing FF14. Yeah. Like, okay, the cutscene's happening. We just skip it and, it's like, and we're already wailing on the big boss. And then that person that's watching the cutscene is like, hey, what the hell, guys? It's like, hey, yeah, we're not going to wait for you in this five minute cutscene. <laughs> we have like, we're on a time limit. So either help us or sit over there mm-hmm. either way we don't care we're, we're on the time limit <laughs> <laughs> that's okay that's pretty cool yeah so i know obviously we just we we're talking about all the performance issues blah blah, blah. so hopefully they'll get fixed or something at least they, they you know, yeah they, they acknowledged they it yeah acknowledges and addressed it like hey we know this is fucked up sorry yeah yeah hopefully uh, it so- yeah so um the game will be coming out in February, right? End of February. Right. Uh I will be getting on on the uh, PC. And you are what? Getting on I, I sticking on uh, PlayStation? I sticking on them. That PlayStation one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, thankfully it's crossplay, so we can you can uh, team up and uh, do stuff, you know. If um we get the time. What? Yeah, when time permits it, because yeah. like everyone 
like my friends know view and chaotic and was like if, if fucking mac calls calls on me to come in it's like sorry dropping your asses here i come <laughs> yeah <It's> like, <laughs> mm -hmm. the witch again like, and i don't know if they're gonna bring it back like how wilds and um, rise was you know you make your own little group lobby and stuff i mean they might or they should and not just have like super random people in this these 100 like lobbies like should like i want to make my own damn lobby that only certain people can join in with you know with a code mm -hmm. so. yeah because i don't want alice marguerite over there coming into this lobby because <laughs> i don't know her yeah all right, we'll uh, look, That's fine. Look, mm -hmm. we'll look forward to it. Hopefully, they fix the stuff, and especially with the performance stuff, because yeah, the, the, if it's if they keep it a PS5 Pro game, it's like oh my god, that's gonna be fucked up. Hopefully not. Hopefully that's not the case. We'll see. All right, so that's it for that. Let's gonna let's uh, try to wrap it up quickly as possible with um the visual entertainment all nice. that stuff news so, yeah so speed run try to try to speed run it but we'll try to talk okay. about yakuza a little bit you know all that stuff so well we kind of speed run on the first one thing <laughs> thank you sir yeah dad yeah um this one this one yeah we should talk about this one yes so <laughs> Let's play out. So now, what is the sequel gonna call? Because it's called minus one. This is gonna be Godzilla Zero. <laughs> Just zero, <laughs> but Godzilla Zero. I mean, G Zero. Yeah, right. Godzilla X. No, <laughs> it's like Monster X. I know. We just jumped. Yeah. <laughs> this is 10, yeah. Okay. I mean, it, it well, could be. One, no, go ahead. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One, good. We get, we're getting another green lit. Two, he'd never specified this was a sequel. Yeah. He just said there's another Go Godzilla film. A new film Godzilla film. film. Three, if it is, if it's not a sequel to Minus One, I'm fine with that because yeah. it, it was pretty much a retelling of the 1950s Godzilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's pretty much like you already know what happens after. Yeah. We don't need, we don't need like another like. I mean, it would be nice for us Godzilla fans. We don't need another 20 years of Godzilla. It's like no, we do. It's well, Please. yeah. I mean, it did, it did, it did do that sequel baiting thing at the end of minus one, but yeah, I mean. And then if her, and then if anyone in the chat or listening is saying that oh spoilers is like my minus one is back in theaters right now. Yeah. Go watch it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. It it is back in theaters. That that's the other thing I wanted to mention too. That um yeah, it's it's a good time to be a Godzilla fan because um Godzilla Fest right now as we speak is happening. So I'm pretty sure like the new short or whatever they're gonna film or they had been filming has already been playing uh so i will take a look at that uh, after this and then yeah so th this is um like very up in the air we don't know what it is so it could be a sequel to the minus one it could be a brand new film this could be like i don't know Godzilla versus king Ghidorah for no fucking reason it's like all right you know fuck it let's have at it right um yeah. we don't know it's for all we know this could be like Godzilla versus Something, I don't know. It could be some. It could be some something else, right? Uh, point being, but Camera. yeah, Camera. <laughs> Camera. Uh, yeah. No, that that there's gonna there's there, there's gonna be there's gonna be uh those people that like to do what do you call? Is it you know like console war people, right? Those kind of yeah people, yeah. But That's... I'll I'll laugh my ass off 
if it's this director that does it first, the uh, Godzilla versus Gamera, and yes. it's not legendary, I'll be like, oh my god. Yeah, I know. No, he, no, he, uh, he, yeah. So he, he's going to be um, directing, writing, and yeah, super effect, uh, special effects supervisor. Same, same guy from uh, minus one. So Yamazaki will definitely be helming, taking the helm on this one. So that's pretty. That's that's, that's it's gonna be lit. It's I, I, I it's already gonna be lit with that being said. And so. then. I'm gonna say if it is a sequel to minus one, I do not want the family back. They they deserve happiness. Go away. Be be happy with each other. Yeah, but they did do the thing, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. As and much as I wanna people, see that. But mm-hmm. And then if you kind of did pay attention to um what's her name? Pretty much the she, the wife already. No, no, they, They're probably gonna get married. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. no that's that is no question. She has. She has the thing. Yeah. Yeah. She has some markings on her. So yeah. She is radiated. So yeah. A lot of people are saying that she might become like a kaiju or something. I was like, okay, if you're gonna go that route, if she turns into Biolante, I'm gonna laugh my ass. Oh out. my god, that'd be really cool. Because then uh, you just go back to you just go to the guys like, wow, you can never catch a break, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you just slap him on the back like. He's gonna be so broken, <laughs> dude. He's gonna be so broken. Oh. He's like, be happy. What you talking about? Look, your your wife is a kaiju, and she's fighting Godzilla, and now she's getting her ass whoop. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, look away. He's like, <laughs> look away. It's gonna be so dark. <laughs> oh. so where's your kid? <laughs> is your kid? Mm-hmm. Ah, your kid is climbing up his mo- the mom's back. Look away. <laughs> He's like, look away. Yeah. That'd be such a like, yeah. It'd be such a, oh, it, it'd definitely be something for Biolante fans, right? If that is the case. But I think Biolante would fit more into how you know, legendary, um, legendary, yeah, is, sets up their own stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, um, whatever minus one sequel will be that it, it it's gonna have to deal with that it has it has to deal with the uh the marking or whatever the the, the symbiote no. <laughs> whatever that is man they're gonna have to uh answer that you know by the way cannot wait we'll have to probably be waiting for like at l- I, i'm gonna give it three years man three years to see some sort of teaser trailer or something Something. Out now. Yeah, right. <laughs> when is it out? Now. What? <laughs> go watch like, Go, go, go watch um <laughs> Godzilla Fest right now. It's like, whoa shit. <laughs> okay. It's like, where's the marketing for this movie? This was the marketing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Alright. So cannot wait for Godzilla. Right, so uh speed running kind of ish so okay so halloween uh test pass but i wanted to uh, at least mention this because look at the animatronics for the uh the dark universe ride monsterverse yeah, monsterverse yeah, yeah. uh so, universal monsters yeah so it looks good like i want to say these are like um not retirees but um old um imagine Imagineers from Disney mm, that mm-hmm. they kind of like recruited, like yeah, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. These are animatronics, the, the small because if you remember, kids back in the uh, the COVID years, Disney had to let go a lot of people, yeah, to stay afloat. Mm-hmm. So, I, I kind of want to say that, yeah, this is where some of the Imagineers ended up with, and it looks good. No, it looks really good. I'll, I'll give my I'll give my assessment because I think the um, Orlando is gonna get is gonna be gonna get theirs um, first because I think Cali's one is like a a, a bit behind. 
Well, this one it says Orlando, Orlando Resort. So, yeah. and it says it's coming That's... 25. May 26. Yeah. So, um, so for me, this is my last year doing Disney Disney shit. Because mm -hmm. in 2025, boyfriend wants to go do this because it's going to have um, four four different areas. One mm -hmm. is the Universal Monsters. Yeah. One is um, the World of Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. But it's during the events of um, Fantastic Beasts. Right. Um, the other one is uh, Burke, where, um, you know, How to Train Your Dragon is. And the last one is um, Nintendo Land. Oh, that's right. We don't know how right. much more, more advanced Nintendo um, Orlando's version of Nintendo Land is going to be. Yeah. It might be the same as Cali. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people are saying that Orlando's gonna get the um, Donkey Kong um section first. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I already not really spoiled myself because I was I'm also like watching this um area uh, develop. Uh -huh. So the Monsters on Chain, the Frankenstein experiment. Um, is going to be a dark ride, in-house dark ride, um, roller coaster ride. Oh, so so I again, I'll I'll when we when me and boyfriend finally goes and do this because apparently he 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 said he wants to he wants to book a hotel that's on property and he'll go to the stuff and. Around what he's saying, uh, Florida residents are getting like a good ass deal about this. Uh huh. Probably gonna spend like a good, a good like good nights at um, at this area. Yeah, yeah. Because it's pretty much like once it's well, it's gonna be a separate. It's gonna be universal, but it's gonna be like separate parks. So it's like you have to buy one park park ticket if you want to do um, Islands of Adventure, one park ticket if you want to do the um the the studios part, and then one park ticket to go into this part. But because yeah. it's four tickets, a one park ticket goes for all four. Mm -hmm. So I'm so we're like looking like should we just do like since there's four different parks in this one little in this one big park. Should we just do like four, five nights, five nights at Freddy's? Yeah, all right. So should, should it be like one day dedicated to Universal Studio Monsters, one day at Burke, one day at um, Harry Potter, and one yeah. day at um, Nintendo World, or one day at Universal, one day with both um, Harry Potter and and How to Train Your Dragon, and then one day, you know, we're we're, we're tossing it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it looks good. The, the this uh ride already looks looking pretty good with the like you know, animatronics because I'm all for physical stuff, you know, practical. And practical. yeah, that's you oh, know and that's the other thing. Like I asked my boyfriend, like if we're gonna go to the monster side, do we do it in the daytime or at night? Yeah, or, you know, from like night, like will the atmosphere feel any more different uh -huh. when you see it in the daytime? Yeah, that's a good question. And I'm going to be that dumbass on the ride, you know, when it's happening and, you know, you see all the monsters, I'll be like, smash! <laughs> pass! Smash! Smash! <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, pass. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so sorry, uh, creature from Black Lagoon, you're, you're, you're a pass. <laughs> I mean, pass. That's smash. <laughs> I'll uh, pass on Dracula. Dracula. I'll pass on uh, Frankie. <laughs> Smash the Wolfman. Smash the Wolfman. <laughs> well, looking pretty good as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, next yeah. Next one. This is yeah. This is, I think this is a real quick one. So you know, Japan loves their mascots. And uh, this is especially in a uh, sp uh, anime style, and it's, but it has a very strange name to it. Um, 
This is called, or this, no, this mascot is called, um, this is kind of a mouthful, but. Ima dake da, da buchi tabemi. So, it kind of. I'm just going to call you Ima chan. Yeah, Ima chan. <laughs> So part of it, Hi. so part of her name comes from what people call the uh, double cheeseburger, because a lot of people order double cheeseburgers in Japan. So double uh, double chi is is what is what that is. It's it's the shortcut. So that's why a uh, part of that is a part of her name. And imadake is like uh, like now, um, I like to eat uh, the double cheeseburger. Is what her name roughly means, but yeah. But well, when you look at it like that, it looks really rough. Too, See, that, and that's the thing with 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 um Japanese words when you romanize it, yes, manji it. Mm -hmm. it. It looks fucking long, but when you actually like just write out the the characters, it's yeah. Like, oh, it's not it's not that bad. Yeah, it is a little counterintuitive because yeah, you're oh, writing it. Yeah. English to yeah. make it easier to read, but when you do it, it's like, oh, it's actually harder to read it. So you're just wanting to. It's harder because you're you're kind of like um, what's it called? You're breaking it up. You're going yeah. Ima da kete. It's like no, it's like Ima da kete. Yeah, because even even yeah, once you put in Japanese, is actually if you if and of course if you know how to read Japanese, it actually is easier to just read it like that because, um, especially with certain kanji like top ta, um tabete or ta like taberu yeah. it actually is uh it does makes it makes things easier because of um it's kind of like reading a picture right it's like it, it, you, yeah. you 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 can like visualize it easier in a sense so and that's the thing i i kind of like with some um japanese writing you'll have the hiragana or the, the katakana but once they get to the uh, kanji, it's like either it's not there or they have it up on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. like, yeah, this. Mm -hmm. So that's nice for me because I, I fucking don't know shit about kanji. So I'll yeah. Be like, da 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 kanji. I'm like, yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> None this Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, same problem with me when when reading Japanese. But yeah. Yep. So that's pretty much the gist of that. They have a little mascot of an anime oh, yeah. and girl. Then, uh, for uh, those that um, don't know about, like, when you're saying your name, you're supposed to say Desu. You don't yes. just yeah. cut off the name. Yep. You say, yeah. I mean, you could say San, but that's kind of, like, very informal. You're supposed to just say Desu. Des, like, yeah. Yeah. You can't say like, oh, you know, like, hi, my name is Zaku-san. It's like, no, you're supposed to say my name is Zaku's this. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's yeah. Weird. Yeah. It's, it's almost like you're, you're, you're expecting people to call you, uh, refer to you as San, which is like a little, uh, or you're speaking in a third person, like, yeah, kind of, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're putting an expectation on yourself and it's like, uh, you're not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> you're not that guy, pal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's why when and i learned it the hard way when i was like just making like you know in you know in japanese 101 you're you learning how to you know say hello my name is i wanted to be an asshole or a funny man and i put sama at the end of my fucking oh my God. introduction and my, <laughs> my sensei got up <laughs> And she's like, Sama. Mm -hmm. Soka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she, she was just doing like, oh, like bowing. And, she, <laughs> and then she went into the closet. And this is like a really traditional Japanese sensei in my school. And lo and behold, this this uh, classroom we had right outside was just like the um, assembly area. And so there was like a little... um water fountain so she got the buckets filled it up gave it to me and told me to st stand outside with the water buckets mm -hmm. never again <laughs> <laughs> 
Never again I refer myself as Saba. Yeah. In front of my sensei. <laughs> so, yep, everybody. Yeah. Uh, more Japanese stuff. Uh, like a dragon yakuza, they come out with all the episodes now. So the other half uh, is how out. many? How many is there now? So so Nine. altogether is six. Oh, it's Short a six. Series. Yeah, it's a six episode mini series. All right. So I only stopped at three. Yes. This man watched all up of them. to the end. Yeah, I, I watched all of them. So, so. we. So we'll just give our initial thoughts. Yeah. Should we do it as gamers that play the game, or should we do it as just whatever, that... like whatever you came in with? It's what... shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Yeah. For the first three episodes, it is shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not blaming. I'm not blaming the uh, the main actors. Act- no. The main actors, yeah. Yeah, I'm not playing. They they did the best they could. Yes. But from just watching it and then trying to, you know, like block the whole like I played this game before, so I know sequence of events. It's like why is this happening now? Mm. Why are you acting like this? Why are you wearing that? Yeah. Oh yeah. The, the, uh what was it? Episode three when Kiryu Sorry spoilers. Kiryu wears his iconic, you know, suit. Get up. I was like, yeah. I was like, wait, you're not supposed to have this suit yet. You're supposed to, wasn't it like white or something? Yeah, it's white. He went... Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was like, wait, you don't, why are you wearing this suit now? You're mm-hmm. not there yet. Yeah. Like, Kiryu, you're not, you're not Kiryu yet. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're still. So I'm like, oh, okay, timeline's messed up. And then in episode three, you figure out, you know, you find out again. Sorry, guys, spoilers. Um, that one, um, the rat. I was like, wait, you're a side quest. How did we already get to this part? <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. And then, are you talking about the florist or? No, not the floors. Okay, okay. Well, what's he called? The floors? The floors of Psy? Yeah, the floors of Psy. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, how did you get here already? There was yeah. no really build up. Yeah. Build up of you being, you know, a rat and then you fucking got to there. Well, yeah, I mean, and then plus um, the origin is, I I'm, I, I believe, is different too, but like vastly different yeah, of the florist. And he doesn't, yeah, and like you said, like, it's very early, like, and he, he, like, he doesn't even show up till, like, I think two or somewhere. Yeah, two. Yeah. So, it's like they're trying to merge some of the game's timeline, and it's not well. No. Um, the other one, it was the sisters. I was like, you guys, the oldest one, who, you know, left, left her kid. Yeah. I was like, you don't act like this. You're not a bitch. Like you're you're not well also like, well what? also well well even the the whole sister thing is very different too and then the the har- yeah, and Haruka is different because because Haruka is Yumi's daughter in the game yeah and Yumi yeah, so they reversed it or it, they it, switched they, they, the they switched around yeah it's it's really really very really, really strange and then Yumi has a different uh I don't know if it's, if he's a husband or partner or whatever but he, he he he's also there he's supposed to be there like you know like the game but he's not there yeah so it's it's, it's just a lot of things are different yeah a lot, a of, lot things. of things are different mm-hmm. but um but i guess what they kind of got right was you know the whole um organization of how you're initiated um Oh, of course, yeah. Like, and, you have you have the Tojo how, Clan, you have the Omi Alliance, and then yeah, and, Doj- and then the Dojima and how, family. The Dojima family. Oh, pretty much. It's like, like they said, I think it was in episode two. Like, you know, they pretty much told um the dad, like you, you're not really one of us anymore, but we will still respect you because of the stuff you did. Yeah, Kazama. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, that's also well, that's like, also that's also different too with Cosmo. Like, yeah. It, it, man, there's there's so much different with yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing too when when the the underlings came in to almost like kill Giryu and and company. Yeah. Kazuma comes in and I'm like, why are you here? Mm -hmm. And then when they're, when the guy that he was like stepping on was like, show some respect. It's like, yeah, please do show respect. Cause do you know who this is? That's about to dislocate your, uh, your friend here. Yeah. He may be out like, you know, out of the, out of the organization, but he's not really out. Because that's how it works in the underground. You're not really out. Exhibit yeah. A. Watch it. Watch John Wick. Yeah. Watch John Wick. He was. He never really was out. Yeah. Yep. He had a false out. Mm -hmm. Ish. Yeah. I think. Um, oh yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Settings. Settings were like. Almost like one to one accurate. There were some questions. Kamurocho, yeah. Kamurocho is Kamurocho, pretty much. I don't know. There, there are some scenes of Kamurocho. It looked empty or small. It didn't look lively. Well, yeah. I mean, that can't be helped. That's probably like the budgeting and shit. But the actual yeah. like buildings and like how like things the were arranged, and the structures. Yeah. yeah. I like. I, I'll give it that for sure because they actually like built they they built build it or you know like conformed it. They modeled. To, they modeled it after Kamurocho, so it's uh, pretty nice that they did that, at least in like practical form anyway. But well, uh, overall, for the three episodes, yeah, it's okay, but it's just again we we both play the game, the games, and it's hard to kind of like detach yourself and going like what are you doing why are you acting like this why is this taking place now oh yeah speaking of taking place now the timeline shit yes i hate how it's like you're in the future and then all of a sudden that one little like word or action zoom we go back in the past and I'm like stop that <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah since it was a three part, three episode shit, right? Episode one and two should have been fully fledged to the past. Episode three is your transition into the now. Mm -hmm. But no, they were for again, for the first three episodes, it was pretty much future, 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 past events, past events, past events, future event. And I'm like, okay, I'm already lost. Where, what year are we? Yeah, it goes between like it's two thousand and five, and then back to ninety five, and then back to in, like the eighties or something. It's like oh, the yeah, fuck? that's why it's like I, I I'm lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I'm probably gonna have to make a like a timeline la uh, map going like you are here. Ah. Mm hmm. But again, since you watch it all and stuff. Yes. Was there a, if it gets greenlit, will we see, you know, for a second season, will we see a young Ichiban, like a kid Ichiban running around? No. I mean, it, there's no, there's no hints of anything like that at the moment. Um, Into which, again, I'll bring it up, like how we were discussing earlier before the recording session. Mm-hmm. This show would have been better with Ichiban. Yes. At the helm. Mm hmm. Two, which Hawk brought up um, earlier, it was supposed to be a movie. And yeah. And somehow they cut it up. They just, they just cut it up to six episodes for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I would say that as just a regular ass J drama or J mob drama thing, it's okay. But even then, it's it's rough on the edges. But because it bears the yak the the like a dragon yakuza name, it it bears both names, right? And it's funny because 
<laughs> uh, we have a game called Yakuza, like a dragon, but now here it's called like a dragon Yakuza. <laughs> it was like, how can you get can you get more confusing than that? No, but anyway, because it bears a name, you have those expectations, right? So, of course, when you look at the show, it's like the vibes, the tone, the characters do not add up to the like a dragon slash Yakuza experience, right? That's what you do. That's what happens when you put a name like that onto a, onto the product. So if you go, are going to do that, you have to check off those boxes, right? The tone, the, the vibes, like where it comes from, right? Like you have to at least make it feel similar to the, the, go these that extra mile, mm -hmm, go the extra mile. Yeah. So like, um, the fights were just, uh, I would say, okay, at best. Be, um, but that first initial fight with Kiryu after he comes out of the jail and he was fighting the, the, the little gang or whatever, the, thug. the yeah. thugs, whatever. Um, I, I, I personally thought it was a little like rough to watch because it just, yeah, like it was trying to be like that, that Yakuza sort of fight yeah, scene. Yeah, it was trying to, um, replicate the, replicate combat the, the combat, combat system, but mm -hmm. but it, it just... didn't it didn't land but there were there are some moments going like okay i that's what kiryu would do yeah yeah yeah. He that's what he does mm -hmm. he takes the face like and he like rubs it on the wall that's what he would do yeah. and stuff but and then he even did like the extra mile by doing the power bomb like boom like but it didn't like it wasn't satisfying enough like it just didn't do yes. mm -hmm. It didn't do like the camera angles. It didn't do like the the music. God, the fucking music was awful. Like, uh, for, for, you know, it, it definitely took away that experience even more. So it's like, um, so as a Yakuza product or like a dragon slash Yakuza product, it's awful. But like, you know, if you're going to go in, if you're gonna go in like a new, like as as, as a, a a complete newcomer, like my mom, like my mom watched it too. She said it was it, it was good. But you know, she can tell that. But you, you, you were probably like at the, at the side going like. Yeah, <laughs> no, but no, but she, but even she understood that the story is like very simplified for, for to be like a J drama. You know. But but yeah, like the music was off because why are you playing Mr. Blue Sky? Yeah, you know English song or English spoken song should have been like fucking uh, i don't know if you fucking played a uh, fucking teriyaki boys yes. during that scene i would have been like you know what fuck it well no fuck like it. well Good. well it didn't even like take any music that was similar to the genre of you would what you hear in the the yakuza fights or whatever like you know that the, the yeah. that electronic like you know sort of rockish sort of music none of that dude it was just like just like generic bullshit for, for the most part and then just like the ambiance, like you know, like it's just, that's just what it was. Like it's, it, it wasn't like anything that got me pumping, you know. Even like even during like the uh, you know, the underground fights, right? Um, that was like, uh, -uh you know, like overall. Um, another thing too. Yeah. The other big thing too was Majima, right? He was like he was like a fucking dick like right off the start like what like what that, that that is not Majima he wasn't he was a normal dude until stuff happened in Zero and then he went he went full you know whatever Majima like that we know from one to one through whatever right one and beyond like he was a he was like an asshole already it's like what yeah, the fuck that, that's why I, like when at the first sign of majima walking in and acting like a dick i was like wait this is future majima mm -hmm. why are you acting like this yeah where's your past majima where you you would be like if you bump into kiryu you'd be like oh my bad sorry mm -hmm. and you know he'll be like okay let's go and oh fucking yeah. uh taiga i was like that's taiga yeah and then and then Taiga already fucking just they already did with him I'm like what that he th that's it 
<laughs> I'm like, what I was the like, f- <laughs> I was like, wow, Tiger, you had like, you went out like a bitch in this yeah. series. <laughs> oh, and 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 speaking of going out like a bitch, um, fucking um, Shibusawa from Zero is apparently in it, but they, they he's just written as like a like a cheap thug. Like what the fuck? She she was supposed to be like one of the big three within the Dojima family. What well, like wh- whose idea was that? Right? Like what kind of fucking disrespect is that to the to the franchise? Like wow. I, I, I okay, like I'm glad Kuze and slash uh uh I don't know what in it because those are the other memorable characters, but I'm glad I guess I'm glad that they didn't get disrespected like she was solid went through like fuck man so yeah so obviously the characters were for the most part wrong i think cosmo was like okay but you know you only do you can only do so much with cosmo and then majima was definitely wrong but you know the the look and everything was all right like the eye patch and everything the hair like um i think later on is okay but i'm I'm, but i'm gonna say this right now you're gonna be disappointed with Majima, like you know, th- th- through um, the other, the rest of the episodes, because it just didn't do the proper buildup, you know, to include Majima and stuff like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it right now. I-, I was so disappointed. I was so disappointed with that. And um, the la- the last, the three, the later three episodes is like, uh, it's 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 a mess. The final fight was, uh, yeah, it's just the, when it gets to the final fight, it's disappointing. It's just, no, I was not engaged. I was just like, uh, it, it was a slog. It felt like a slog at that point. I mean, some of the stuff is okay. Um, but it's, just, it gets, it, it got very confusing at some point. Um, I'll give it, I'll give it that they had, they had like violence, but when the rest of the stuff is like just wrong or not engaging or just sucks it doesn't matter you know it, it, and it also put, puts down everything else too like the setting the camarochos the practical camarocho you know replicate replication all that stuff like the hard work there is just it just means nothing if if the if the important bits aren't there kitty is wrong especially it's like you know the way they treated him, or the, how that how he goes about things, is not, not not so much him. Like the only the only thing they got right is the outfit, the hair a little bit, I guess. But the characterization, like, um, you know, and then like you were you were talking about too early on, like he was very mumbly. It, it, it just the audio didn't come out as clear like he 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 is it sounded like he didn't like say it with like full full chested right like i like i like maybe he was trying to do a deep voice but i don't know man it's not well that ain't it so for me right despite despite talking shit about it i mean actually i don't know uh, uh i think i think uh my my overall like sort of thoughts is it's not a bad watch but it's a it's not a fun watch it's not a it's not a fun watch as a yakuza fan but if you're going in as like completely like unbeknownst or new then you'll just find this to be like a decent j drama show but yeah um that's pretty much what it is <laughs> It, it's basically like uh like godzilla 98 the film of itself is fine but it bears the godzilla name and it's not godzilla right otherwise it, it's a it's a it's a more than decent popcorn flick monster movie but that's not god's it, it bears a godzilla name and it doesn't do it justice and this show does not do it justice at all the fights were very subpar it was um it didn't do enough the music is awful the music selection is awful the actual music of itself the original soundtrack is not engaging enough characters just done wrong not done justice they 
they did an injustice, in fact, to Taiga and Shibusawa, to name off a few. And then, yeah, just a lot of changes, a lot of just mumbo jumbo mess. So actually, honestly, I probably give it, I, I probably give it like a four. <laughs> I like initially, uh, um, I was, it was a six, but I'm lower into a four, man. I was disappointed. Even, even like going in a, a, with a more open mind, like, yeah, it's going to be a else world sort of story. I was, I was getting bored, man. I was not having fun. And the way, the way they, the, the way some people, some characters got disrespected. No. Mm mm. That's all I, that's all I can say for, for, uh, for right now. Uh, anything else you wanted to add or say? Me? Nope. I mean, I, I gotta watch the last three episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so trying to see here. We do have quite a bit to go through, but they're all kind of like relatively quick ish. But let's, let's just go. I, I, actually, I'm just going to have us go to like one more thing, maybe. And then, yeah, we'll call it. Uh, let me just go ahead and like find it. Because uh... <laughs> I thought. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, Godzilla, not only Godzilla is back in theaters for minus one. But uh, John Wick is also back in theaters. I think it's chapter one. It's chapter one, and it's also I think to just um refresh people of the events of chap of chapter one because of the uh the upcoming um oh ballerina uh, it... yeah ballerina ah uh, interesting because ballerina is supposed to be taking place between um two I think it's two and three or one and two something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. By the way, also back in theaters. This one, um, so Oda, Oda san for uh, One Piece, right? Creative One Piece had one condition, one of the conditions, right? Or has some conditions for, you know, making a live action a One live Piece. Action. And one of them, apparently, according to Steve Maida, I think he's like the producer or showrunner. He, uh, was told by Oda to have no romance between crew members. Very, very, uh, very specific, specific. <laughs> yeah. Statement from Oda-san. So I'm guessing, does that apply also? Will that also apply to his like manga? Yeah. To, to his manga. Hmm. Or it could be because you know, like how American adaptations or it, live action adaptation they just throw in fucking like a love triangle out of nowhere mm -hmm. when there was nothing established in yeah. the uh, source material yeah so i think he just wanted to put his foot down like hey none of this shit mm -hmm. okay okay maybe the only the only shipping i want to see is sanji and zoro <laughs> yeah. Yeah. my friend <laughs> yeah see 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 ah well, well that's me I want, I want <laughs> I know someone thought about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but yeah, I I think that is a good like put the foot down because yeah, if you notice there's a lot of like adaptation that went oh, awry because they tried to make the love triangle mm -hmm. or they tried to like force a relationship between two characters that wasn't even established in the source material. Cause when you think about it, uh the Straw Hat um, crew, they're pretty much a family. They don't have, like, they love each other, but it's not romantic love yet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Akir is, is, like, praying to, like, whatever deities he worshipped to have, um, to hopefully have, um, Robin and, um, Frankie get together. No. <laughs> yeah, well, come on, man. I mean... <laughs> I know it, it is writing on the wall that they should. I mean, it's the same thing. Like, like, well, uh, well, with Luffy, there's no. It the, he. It's not even. He's not even showing that he 
loves anybody. He just mm-hmm. wants adventure. Yeah. Um, I want Jinbei to find love, but it, I do not want him to find it in the straw. straw hats. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't think it's in the straw hats. Definitely. <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, me personally, maybe Carrot and no, Chopper, but Chopper is still like a, a child. Let's be real. Chopper is still a child. <laughs> So no relationship with that kid yet. Maybe like later on, but like yeah, like um like way later on maybe, but yeah, otherwise in that current state ish, whatever you want to say, no. <laughs> Just for the sake. <laughs> um yeah. Yeah, I I have a feeling because of what Vivi has hinted kind of I feel like Luffy, if, if we're going to talk about Luffy, I think it's going to be either he winds up with Nami somehow or um or Vivi. I think it's going to be either uh, it's going to be Lu- Luffy and Vivi or Luffy and um Nami. That's going to happen. Sorry, Boa. Luffy... Sorry, sorry, Boa. Yeah, I, I can't see him with Boa. No. What if it's um uh, Yamato? Um, what, what if Luffy goes back to Wano and marries on Yama? Um, I can't see that. I, I perfectly can't see that. I mean, not like out of love, but out of like um um. Oh, like like bros or something like. What do not mean? not bros, but it, like medieval times used to do it. You know, you you sell, you give up your your daughter to you know marry a. A king or a prince to you know keep you know keep in favor or mm. like have dynasty you know something like that hmm. like to hold power or something like that like a not obligation but like a royal stuff hmm. I, forgot, I forgot what the term is but oh, okay like yeah but one relationship i want definitely to see at the end of the series i need to see usopp and um kaya oh yeah yeah that yeah that, 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 that put ha- those two fuckers together <laughs> that, that is a set, set ground in stone mm-hmm. that these two needs to be together yeah 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 for sure for sure and if he doesn't end up with kaya i am going to march over to us i was going like you change that now <laughs> make it be, make it a dream yeah like make them wake up and it's fucking real <laughs> that he and Kaya are together mm. but mm-hmm. right write that down <laughs> <laughs> write that. yeah <laughs> I mean in the live action I mean that's already happening anyway so yeah 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 I mean but yeah does, and then who does Brooke um, end up with Maybe, uh, well, if you watch One Piece fan letter, which is like the very recent, um, uh, special, could be he could be winding up with that, uh, girl with the afro, with the furry hair. I forgot her name, or I, I don't know her name or anything, but she was like, she's like, a, I think she's a fan of his, so I don't know, maybe it could be, it could be her. Nah, he's not gonna marry anyone, and he's just gonna live the rest of his. The rest of their lives uh, with Laboon. <laughs> Which Perhaps. again, write that down, Oda. You, you, oh, yeah, he you has to. He, back with Laboon. Yeah, he has to uh, reunite with Laboon. Yeah. You to. don't. Re- you don't make that skeleton man go back with his fucking will. I am going to get, get pissy. Yeah. <laughs> you will, you will throw a fit. Because. Because that man promised Laboon that he will return to see him. Yeah. If that promise isn't kept, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna kill the skeleton. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. A perfect condition to avoid a more uh, avoid a more <laughs> deadlier war than a uh, uh, marine war. <laughs> marine fold. Oof. Yeah. 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 You know how people are in the comments, man. Yeah, especially. But, oh my man. god, especially when the uh, Naruto ended, man. There, there, there are so many people mad that. Uh, oh yeah, called? people Naruto. are fucking. 
pissed that Naruto didn't end up with Sakura. I was like, there was no chemistry. And if you're talking about that one scene where Sakura said that she loved him, that was a fucking lie. She didn't want Sasuke to get hurt because she knew Naruto was going to block it, knock his block off. Yeah. So, yeah, there was no chemistry. People still to this day are pissed off that Ichigo ended up with Orihime when he was supposed no. to be with I was like, there was, there was no chemistry between Ichigo and Ori um, with uh, Ruki. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're good friends, but yeah, like, there's they no, were friends, but yeah. there was already a love established between um, Renji. And, yeah, Renji and Yurukiya were, yeah. Yeah. And it makes sense for Ichigo to go with um, Orihime because guess what? They're close to the same fucking age and they grew <laughs> up together. Yeah. That one big ass thing. They <laughs> grew up with each other. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and. I don't know about you, but that's sometimes how a relationship happens. If you're a childhood friend, yeah, you you might end up together. Yeah. Sorry, it's cliche, but it fucking happens. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, well. All right. I think uh, we can put a stop right there because it's been uh, it's been pretty long. Yeah, so. and also happy daylight savings, everybody. I, I I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pointless. That's what it is. I live. I, I live in Hawaii. We just look out. We just look out the window and go like, "Is it nighttime?" Yes. Yep. Yep. That's uh, still going on, even though the law is supposed to, or not the law, the act is supposed to go through. But even though it's been approved, but it's not happening for some reason. I don't know what's going on with that. Well, anyways, put that aside. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be back for another one. No lot of fun stuff. We'll uh, hopefully come back with uh, yeah, we're something. gonna wind down. We're pretty much yeah. This is like the wind down, right? Because we're we're in November already. Yeah, the... we're gonna have like four more four more episodes. Yeah, podcast before I uh, I vanish for a month. Yeah, <laughs> is it is it four? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, counting, counting down from this week, or not counting this week. This for our um. So. Nine, sixteen, twenty-three, and thirty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Which I. When I said that, um, sorry, last tangent. I told my boss, like, I'm going to leave for a month. And they're like, why? I'm going to visit my boyfriend. You know, we always do this every year. Can't he come here? No, I don't want him to be here yet. It's my excuse to get off the fucking island. <laughs> Let, I'm like, let me have this. <laughs> and they're like, well, if you if he moved here, then you both can leave the island. It's like, you're missing the fucking point. <laughs> you're missing the fucking point. Because we're going to have to coordinate our fucking PTO timing. Yeah. So let's say his PTO does not, you know, coordinate with mine that we always, you know, I always get around this time. Yeah. So it's like, so I'm <laughs> sorry, sir, but shut the fuck up. <laughs> my relationship. My, my home. <laughs> At home, I go to. <laughs> uh, man. I was waiting for you to say it. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Yeah. Alright, thank you very much. We'll see you next week. See you next time. Bye bye. Oh, let, me, let, me play, let me play a sound effect. Um, fuck. Where is it? Who is using this one? <laughs> again, again, my friend.